Good morning, welcome to Sewing Quarter. I'm Natasha McCarthy. You've got me for the next four hours, but I'm not alone. Oh no, no, lovely Janice is in. So we'll see what color her hair is in just one moment. Uh, <laughs> she's giggling. Uh, and then we also have a brand new guest for you. We have Alistair McDonald from House of Alistair. So let's see how Saturday is shaping up. It is so, it's Saturday. <coughs> which we're going to be doing a lot of. So 8am, perfectly pleated bag designed by our very own. And then 9am, we have got da -da 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 -da, House of Alistair bringing us, wait for it, Liberty EPP. Yes, English paper piecing, Liberty style. Oh, hello. Then 10 o'clock. Janice is back with our sewing essentials. And she, actually, I think you've got about three different demos to do with us that hour. That's going to be fast paced and fun packed. Right, and then 11 o'clock, it's House of Alistair again. Uh, Bolero. So this hour, we've got some stunning lining fabrics, satin bias binder, all sorts, all sorts for your dressmaking coming up in that hour. So lots and lots and lots to bring to you today. Absolutely stunning. Now, a couple of promotions to let you know about. The first one is if you are brand new, hello, we're not that old either. Uh, if you are brand new to the channel and today you happen to make your first purchase, then take a look at what will happen for you. Yes, free one meter of festive fabric. Woohoo! Um, it, you'll just be given it, it'll just be added onto your order. But, oh, here we go, hit find out more any moment. Make your first purchase with us between the 4th and 5th of November and we'll give you a fabulous festive freebie. New customers who spend over £10 will get one metre of Christmas themed fabric for free. We've got five delightful prints on offer and when you check out, one of them will automatically be added to your order. So treat yourself today, but hurry! This seasonal giveaway lasts 48 hours only, or while stocks last. There you go. We got there in the end, didn't we? Absolutely. Uh, so that's lovely if you're a brand new customer. But if you're an existing customer and you bought with us about a month ago, we were running a promotion about getting some credit back into your account. Now, if you look in your sewing quarter account, it's there. So if you took full advantage of our um, credit back promotion, then you will have money back in your sewing quarter account ready to spend. Oh, let's have a look at the website as well. So here we go. How do you spend? I mean, that's the thing, isn't it? So head to watch, you can watch us live. And there we are. And then send us a message. We love to hear from you. So a little message box there, type away, send it in. That comes through. It's producer Hannah today, by the way. That's who the team is today. Uh, producer Hannah's there. She will uh, then send that down to me. And then underneath products from today's show, as soon as we put it on the screen, it goes on to there. So you don't have to remember our randomly generated code, which are a nightmare. You can just go straight to there and find it there. And that's going to be your shortcut to your shopping list. Brilliant, that's how that all works. Now, without further ado, what have we got for you? There we go, hello. Uh, now, this hour, this is the wonderful pleated bag. You'll see why I chose this one, can you? It's got the horses on. Love, love, love this fabric. Fully lined and everything. It's absolutely gorgeous, look, all fully lined. Ooh, very lovely colors, aren't they? So let's start with this bundle. In this bundle, you're getting a metre and a half of fabric. So a half a metre. I love, look at this. Ooh, yeah, look at the texture on there. Uh, it's got a bit of festive glitter on there as well. Um, and then you're also going to get your linen look in the blue. I love this one. This is one of my favourites. Uh, it doesn't show up the depth of the colour in there on the screen, but oh, it's gorgeous. And then, look, we've got horse fabric. Nay, yes, we have. Here it is. Uh, and there it is. Absolutely stunning. I love that mustardy colour. You get thread and your bag. Bag, what are we calling this? Bag strap. I was going for webbing. But it's that kind of thing, isn't it? So that's everything that you're getting there. Oh, of course, and the instructions, because otherwise you're not going to know what to do, are you? Twenty-four ninety-nine. That looks like a great deal for me. Well, for you, for anyone, to me, for you. Uh, now, which one do you want to pick? Let's go. We were giggling actually. 
because um, our channel manager, Neil, he is obsessed with Union Jacks. We're like, who's been letting Neil buy fabric? But, uh, but here it is. So if you want that quintessentially uh, English fabric, here it is. And we've matched it with your red spot on and your blue and given you thread and your red handle, strap handle-y stuff there. And of course your instructions, $24.99. Ooh, I've not seen this fabric before, producer Hannah. Have you seen it? No, oh, she's seen it, but it's new to me. Look at this, isn't it lovely? So if you just want that smart bag that you can wear for any occasion, there it is. Look, we've matched the two blues as well. How beautifully do they all go together? So a half a meter of each of those and your thread and your bag strap, you are good to go. A little bit more limited on that, but it's 21.99. So if you love it, grab it. Right, now loitering behind the Christmas tree over here is our final bundle. Got lots of choice for you today, haven't we? Gosh, <coughs> excuse me, stupid cough. Um, right. Look, 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 maybe it's going to be a project bag. Yes, yes, yes. Then here it is for all your bits and bobs. Fabulous. So with that, you're also going to get, uh, oh, that's, that's your bag handle. And then you're also getting the linen look in red and you're also getting your spot on in sand. There we go. So all of that for $24.99. Now, are they fabulous? Lovely bag. It's a lovely bag. Hello, lovely, lovely Janice. Hello. I would give you a big old... I know, but, but you can't. I don't, I don't want to give you... For Christmas. No. <laughs> I don't think it lasts that long. No, well, I don't. I don't, don't. You now, never know. This is the bag. What a mm, lovely shape. It is. It's a smashing shape. And because of the way that it's pleated, you can get more in it. I was just going to say. So this is going to be a bag that you can fit everything, everything and more it's in. It's a smashing bag. And look, stunningly lined And I do as well. love that colour. At first, when I saw the colours together, I was thinking, I don't know. But when it came together, together I thought, it's very oh, rich, isn't it? Ever so, ever and it so. looks and incredibly the classy. Fabrics are beautiful. It's, fabrics just, are it's beautiful. just lovely. And quite an unusual shape. You're yep. going to fit a lot in there. You will. Trust me, I've tried. And I love pleats, box pleats and everything. I was talking about them a few weeks ago, the bo like the boxy type pleats. And it's, it is, you know, it just gives the finish to a outfit no. or bag or whatever. Every instruction, no, every kit. It's one of those mornings, excuse me. Every kit comes with a set of instructions. <laughs> That's the way round. <laughs> that it works. Um, and here they are. And you've also got your template for your pleats, which Janice is going to show us in just one moment how to how to do all of that, because I'm looking at that going, no idea. Um, but look, step-by-step -step instructions, all very clearly labelled. This bag was designed by Bex Reed, who we yeah. often see on the shows. Um, she works for the magazine. She's the technical editor of Simply Sewing Magazine. So she's the one that is responsible for producing the instructions. Yeah. So if they're not clear... Ever so clear. Shout out. Ever so clear. Really you clear. Won't need it. So right. you won't need it. So the first thing you do, you cut out your main fabric, and it's again you've got enough enough in the actual kit to choose whatever design way round you want. Oh, right. Yes, because so, you get so half you a meter of each. Yeah, so you can do any design out of. Lovely. Okay. You know, so cut your main fabric out, <coughs> contrast fabric, and then of course you won't be. Okay. And you have to do the lining as well. So and it's exactly the same size. For the lining as right. well. Right. So, but I'll so show you. So you're basically that you're on. effectively making two bags. You're making two bags. Okay. Okay. Right. So the first thing you do is you get your actual instruction on the actual pleats. Right. And what you do is you mark them. So these are in centimeters. So from the two outside, it's eight and a half. Uh huh. Then an inch, uh, one centimeter. Sorry, not an inch. One centimeter on the two sides, and then in the middle. You go in the four, but then it's two centimetres okay. for the middle. Right. And that's to make the pleat in the middle larger. Right. Because these are actual, um, what's they called? I've forgotten the name of them. It's gone. Um, they're inverted pleats. Right. And these are, what's the name? I don't know. I don't know anything about pleats. It'll come back Bear to with us. Me. Bear with me. Bear with me. Um, Bear with. Oh, gosh. Inverted. I'm going to have to think. 
I don't pencil, want... pencil pleats. Pencil pleats. Yes. Oh, yes. So. yes. Yes, like your curtains. <laughs> yes. Like your yes. curtains. Sorry about that. So, yeah. So, the first thing we do is we mark the fabric. Now, I've actually made one side already. Oh, cool. Um, oh, so, ready. The, I mean, the, so do you just start from the central point? Yeah, you, st you just start from the middle. Yeah. So Ooh. what you do then mm -hmm. is you turn over and you do it with a pencil. Now, um, I tried it with a marker first, yes. a marker pen, but it didn't seem to work on the darker fabric. Right, so, so you need to get one that's going to contrast. Yeah, you do need the pencil. We to sell give all sorts more, of different colours. You know, so, so that you can contrast. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> so if you look, eight and a half in both sides. Right. Then one centimetre. Uh -huh. Then four yeah. cent centimetres. Then one. It's exactly what we're doing on there. Then you've got your two centimetres, which are in the middle. Yes. Because that's going to be your middle piece. Right. And then two at either side. Then a four. Two ones. A four. Two ones. And an eight and a half again. So it, yeah. So it repeats. So it actually repeats. Oh, excellent. Into the middle. So it's either side the same. But be careful because it's so easy to do the two centimetres as one centimetre. It's so easy. Well, if you're me. You, Here you go. This is what so. the final pleats are going to look like. There they are. They're up, up a bit. There we go. There. Wee! So you get you get that lovely, and that's what gives it that lovely, sort of bulbous that's look. It. There you yeah. go. There they are. Wee! Fabulous. So that's what we're that's what we're working at today. Um, I'm a little bit of a Thank newbie pins. when it comes to pleats, so I'm always happy to learn something new. I need some pins. We haven't got any pins on here. We need some pins. Pins, oh, please. Gosh. Pins, please. We'll find some. So after you've marked it, turn it <coughs> over. And then we're going to start from the middle. Now, if you fold the fabric straight in half, yes, and press it. Now, yes. this is where pressing comes in. Right. And ironing. Okay. This is where it really comes into so play. I hear Janice. I'm, get, I'm getting ready. So, I'm getting ready for it. The first thing you do, yep, is find your centre piece. Yep. And that's the easiest way to do this. Right. Do you want me to press? So if you press that on there. There we go. Okay. So that's so that one done. Centre. I'm going to leave that out because I so feel that we're... Uh... What I did... Yes. Just put a pin in the back on that centre plate so you know where... Because it's easy to get confused, so just make You've sure... You've got a lot of marks, haven't You've you? You've got a lot of marks, yeah. yeah. So if you find your centre first... And that's there. And you've also got the centre. Nice. With your, yes. your crease there. So then the first thing you do, you get your... The first one at the... The furthest one away of the two centimetres. Yes. And you're going to pick it up yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> it's ever so hard to explain this. So you're going to fold it in... Yeah. ..to that centre there. Ah, OK. OK. Right. So then... You're going to have, so then I can take the pin out there then and use that pin. Do you press? So, yeah, we will press, but I'll do it. So that's what you're going to have at the back. See that where I folded it in? Yes. So, that, so that's your two centimetres. That's the two centimetres, and the other two centimetres is on the it's inside and it's folded back. To that centre so, point. So if I show you the other side as well. I was thinking, how am I going <coughs> to do this? So... And what I actually did as well was folded it all the way down, even though you don't have to worry about the bottom right. at this stage. You just worry about the... Is the pleat down to the base, then, of the bag? Well, it's, it isn't, no. It, but, you see, because the, the bag lends to it, but what I do, I, will, I would do this anyway to the end. Right. And press it all the way down. So that uh, it presses so it just helps. so it helps together. Okay. Do you know okay. what I'm saying? I'm with, you. I'm with you. So if we just go down, see that's what I do. Okay. And then all the way down. There we go. And that will hold that there. Okay. Okay. And then press so then, it in place. Yeah, and then we'll press it in place in this. Bit. We might as well do it together yes. so that we do the okay. both sides together. Okay. So then you do the other side. So okay. Again, so find... again. It's that second two centimetres yep. from the middle. Yeah. Okay. 
and you fold that on that line. So you fold on that line and then find yeah. that halfway mark and fold it back yeah, in. Yeah, but you could also press it like that. Do you know what I mean? Yes. But for quickness, I'm just um, doing it this way. <laughs> mm. So, but you, what you could do is actually press it as well. Okay. If it's your own nice bag and you want it really nice, then I'd take the time and press it. So again, that then. Time is never is on our middle. side, is it? I on know, these shows, Janice. That's We're always problem. whiz, whiz, whiz. Whiz, whiz, whiz. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> it is, isn't it? So there we go. So I'm now just going to turn it round and just pin it. <coughs> and if you look up then on the back, mm -hmm. if I turn it round after I've just done this, I'll show you the look you should have. Right, okay. And if you haven't got it, you've done it wrong. That's right. <laughs> but you're getting full instructions as yeah. well. So, of course, make a note of the date there you go. and watch back so the show. If oh, you lovely. Look, see how I've gone a bit off down there, so it's gone a bit slimmer. So if you look there, that, and that measures, believe it or not, one and a half inches. Okay. Right, what's that in centimetres? Yeah. In centimetres, four. Four centimetres. Four centimetres. Okay, so it's all okay. done in centimetres, yeah. this bag. Right, let's and it's press. four centimetres. So if you press that first... Come on then, hand it over. We'll okay. press that for you. I guess if you, if you do want to do it all the way down to the bottom, just to make life easier, you could always mark again, couldn't you? Yeah. Down the bottom, yeah. so you, you've got that point to actually head to. Can you manage? Yeah, I just, I'm not sure if these are glass-headed or not, or if they're plastic pins. I'm just being a little cautious, yes. as I don't want to... Well, what we can do, we can take them out in the bits and then just really give it a good press, do you know what I mean? There you go. There we are. That's it. There you go, Janice. So, lovely. So then, we go on to the pencil pleats. Now, how are pencil pleats different to the inverted pleat? Well, they're just very, they're just a bit real much slimmer as well. Okay. It's exactly the same really, but they are just very slim and more pointed as well. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> so they, they are more or less the same. So, so again, what you're doing, you're just folding <coughs> two one centimetre <coughs> marks and, but what they say in the instructions, you get a pin. This is how they do show it. You put a yeah. pin on the one, yeah. And a pin on the other. But but with me, I'm left-handed. Now, this is awkward for left-handed people because normally, you see, what happens, people who are right-handed yeah. put the pin in that, that way, way. Right. and they have that, okay. the, the head of the pin there, so it's easier yeah. to fold it But of course, you don't the pin the pin like but that because it's awkward. But you see, you can't. When, if you're left-handed, this is where it is a bit awkward. So if you look, I've marked the pin there, but then if I do that You've straight got away, heads. I've got the pins underneath. So for, okay. So for me, it's what, easier what for me. What happens if you just turn it around and pin it the you can other just way pin it on the other that side way. of the fabric? You could do, I suppose. Yeah, you could do, I suppose. And then you've got the pin heads going the right way. And then you've got the pin heads going the right way. There we go. Oh, I'll that's do easy. That it's done. But <laughs> I've just done it that way anyway. So again. Just do that to the two one centimetre yeah. marks. This and that is, is your... This is where we're going with this. Look, Janice has already done one beautifully here. And this is what we're doing again. So here it is. Oh, this is the kit. Did you want to see the kit? There you go. There's the kit. That's everything that you're getting in the kit. Loving the buses. They're lovely, aren't They're they? The fab. buses and the taxis. Very British. Very British, yes. <laughs> and here are the pleats, all done. So you see, look, beautifully pressed. That's your centre main one, and then these are your little pencil ones that she's so doing at the moment. all about the pressing. So all that's the, pressing. the finished effect. So it I'm is. just now whizzing up doing it. <laughs> so it's a multi-directional print as well, so uh, that's great because yeah. it's going to look fabulous from all angles. So we with like the that. horse print now, you have to make sure the horses are up the right way. Oh yes, yes, good so, point. Yeah, the horses. That's the graphic going down the bottom, the, the Farley Mount pleated bag. Mm. I love that one. Absolutely love that one. Do you so, mind if I have a little throat sweet? Because I'm no. coughing quite a lot, so you have to excuse me this morning. But I think pleats is just such an effective... I remember I made this friend of mine a box pleat uh, balance. Oh, and right, yeah. The fabric it took was so much because of it being box pleats. Mm. But the effects was stunning. absolutely stunning. Oh, yeah. 
yeah. It's I'm worth going back doing, isn't it? Years. It's worth doing. Them. And actually, I think that if you are new to pleats, then this is a lovely way actually to get going with them because yeah. there aren't too many. They're not. They're not dangerous. It's not they're not so complicated they're either. Not dangerous. Dangerous, <laughs> dangerous pleats. <laughs> Health and safety, health and safety. Beware. Dangerous pleats. I don't know where that dangerous one came from. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> dangerous. Here are your instructions. So all of your bundles have this. So you've got all of that to just mark out. Use that to do your marking out. And then here along here shows you step by step exactly how to do it. Which is fab. Loving it. Right, isn't it? And that's the way it's looking at the moment. So, again, on the back, mm -hmm. you see how it, that's gone a bit there. So, but that's, just... that's that's not your um, that's not where you marked, is it? No, it's just that's it. I'll just do it. But what I actually did to the bag I made here, I actually measured across all the pleats to make sure. That they're all the, exactly the same size. So if you do that, take your time and make sh and it's one and a half, four centimetres each pleat. That embraces. But for this, we're just <laughs> going to. But if you if you can look at the back, the back's always got to be as nice as the front. Is that so? That's the way I always. Do think. you then um, <coughs> pleat the lining as well? No, you just gather the lining. It's easy. Oh, okay. easy the lining. I'll show you the lining. A bit cool. So it's quite exciting. Da, 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 da. Right. So, and it's quick, believe it or not, this part is the one that takes the most time. With but your this, is, this is the effect, though, isn't yeah. it? I mean, this is, this is what this bag is all about. But with is your marking, complete? take your time. I've yes. got to stress that. With, with the mar your marking on the fabric, take your time. But with the marker, forget it. It drove me up the wall. And it was into, and in the actual instruction, it does say use a pencil. Right. Listen to the instruction. Okay. I, I've got to stress that to you. So. The, and also, you want that accuracy as well. So yeah. if you're using a marker, sometimes they're a little bit thicker. So, but we've, I mean, we've got lots of different uh, pencil markers for fabric. Yeah, we have. Take a look on the website so, if you're after anything. So like what that. we're going to do then, Natasha, is yes. and everybody, yes, you're just going to stitch across a tacking stitch just across to hold the pleats in place. Okay. Okay, so we just do a quick tacking Could you do stitch. this on the machine on a long stitch? You can do. I, always do. I, just, I, do. I just do everything by hand, don't I? I know you do, um, I know, and I love you that noticed. about you because you I are... I do, I do everything by hand. You've done this for so pleats. many years by hand, haven't you? You <laughs> used to do all the tacking for your mum, didn't you? Because she was I've a seamstress I've always done well. tacking. Like this. I'll even double the thread, and you don't double the thread with tacking. <laughs> Normally. But yeah, I've always um, it's just how, it's just, done more. Everybody's, everybody learns in different ways, though, don't they? Then there'll be lots of you at home going, yeah, no, that's how I do it. I've always done it like that. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Well, Where if you see, I'm, a, I'm a, a child of, of machines. So, and, right, yeah, there's a machine to do it. Technique. It's going to do it. So you, you, you can take your pins out oh, safely. Fabulous. Okay. And then what you're going to do then is you're going to attach your contrast fabric for the top. Right. And you're just going to attach it straight across the back. To begin with, right now, sides together. Is this going to be okay. exactly the same size? So it's five eighths. Right. Yeah, it is. It's going to be the same. Even though that's, if if you actually do the pleats and measure them, you'll probably find that this fits to the actual. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, but it, it will. It will. It will go on. I'll make it go on. <laughs> yeah. Because we're doing this, and they are five eighths seams as well on here. On this five bag. eighths. Five eighths. Like a centimetre and a half. Yeah. Oh, and half. in Cheshire says, oh, bless Tash, you have as many lozenges as you want. <laughs> Thanks. I've got a right old say, looks like boots down here. I've, got, um, I've got all sorts going on. Such Started on Thursday, came to air on Thursday with just a sore throat, feeling a bit ropey, not and my then... usual self. And then it's <laughs> blossomed into this. Lovely. Nice. That was seeing me for there somewhere. No, I haven't. I'll use the scissors instead. So that'll just hold it down. That's why I... I'm loving this. It is a lovely bag. It's a, it's a, you know. And anybody who came in my house, because that was what I made at the beginning of the week, and anybody who saw it on my, was going, oh, isn't that a lovely okay. bag? <laughs> it is, it's really lovely. It is I, um, nice. I made the mistake of buying the other day a small bag. <laughs> yeah. I thought, no, this is fine. 
Uh, Freddie, you know, he, he'll be four in January. It's fine. Oh. I, I don't need everything. Yes. I, I still need everything. <laughs> I still need everything. <laughs> we had a situation that required baby wipes and the bag wasn't big enough oh. for the baby wipes. Oh. And that, yeah. yeah. And that was easy. Unfortunate. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah, I still need a big bag. So this is fabulous. This... Yeah, and actually, I'll be honest, it felt a bit weird because I couldn't even fit my big wallet in there. So, um, <laughs> it, no, wallet. no, it, wallet. Yeah, it'll be one for, for going out when I only need a phone, a lipstick and a, and a <laughs> credit card. Um, so oh, this bag, now. absolutely fab. It is, it's, it's just a lovely shape as well. Just taking the tack size. So the okay. tacking stitch comes out because you've now sewn yeah. it. And then we just press the seam open. Now, why are Both we pressing sides. this open? Is this just to reduce bulk or...? Yeah, well, I always just press seams open anyway, just to make it sit nicer. You know, I'm, I'm really into pressing all the sides. I'm going to let you uh, press that and I'm going to go and look at all the bundles. Right. You carry on. <laughs> Come with me. I'm taking the bag, though. <laughs> <coughs> now, the London one that Janice is using over here, we all giggled when we saw this. Like I say, our, uh, our channel manager, Neil, everything has to have a Union Jack on it. Uh, and so we're like, Neil, this is perfect for you. He's like, yes, I've already spotted it. Uh, 24.99 QQGC39. Half a metre of each. So a metre and a half of fabric there. Plus your wonderful webbing. So you don't have to make your own handle. It's all done for you. You just have to sew it in. And your thread. Everything that you need. It's all there. I love a kit like that. And your instructions. Don't forget, full photographic, written instructions. It's all in there. $24.99. Great as a gift. Or make it yourself. We're in that time, aren't we, where if you're making for Christmas, fabulous. Um, but also, you've got, you could also buy it to gift. Uh, now, the blue is very, very popular. It is our smallest amount of stock. We are now into single figures for this one. But look, the, don't the, this is, these are colours that you can have every day, aren't they? You know, this isn't, this isn't a seasonal situation. Very, very smart. More people of you have it in your basket than we have available. So please check out your baskets. It is a stock warning. $21.99. I'm going to do my own sound effects. We, do, we don't... That... You need, you need to check out because otherwise you're going to miss out. Please don't miss out. This isn't, this isn't miss out Saturday. This is sew it Saturday. Yes. Uh, and then this fabulous one that I've got here. La, 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 la. I love it. Uh, even if you don't like horses, why wouldn't you like horses? It's, it's the colours are fabulous. This is so rich and opulent, isn't it, in its colourways. It looks very expensive, but it's not. It's just 24 99 Lots of you with this in your baskets, please check out. Don't miss out on this. Loving those colourways together. Absolutely fab. You've got, yeah, because you're not going to use all of the webbing, so you've got extra handle for other projects. We like, we like. Actually, it's, it's nice. It doesn't cut into your shoulder or anything. It's very good. Mm. And then over here, I made my mum a bag the other day. She said, I put my knitting in it so that I get to see it every day. And I thought, yeah, this one will be such a lovely thing for a project, because I tend to have bags for UFOs, <laughs> unfinished objects. And so you could do this. Producer Hannah's friend, it's on the train. So she could have that as a, her commutable bag, and everyone would know what she was doing. Uh, so, but it, or it just might be a fabric that you absolutely love. $24.99, the choice, as they say, is yours. So all I've done at this stage is Took the pins out, mm -hmm. got the other half. So what we're literally going to do is get this bit. Oh, you've got a couple of pins left in here. Oh. Did you want those out? Yes. Okay. Can you see another one? No, they're all gone. All no, done. I didn't. I didn't take them out well, earlier because I wasn't sure if it was what you wanted. So okay. again, leave the pins until you press, and if you look, see the the pleats as they mm -hmm. are. Okay. Because again, if you don't press it, you'll never get it right. So always. Now you've said this before. As you were actually the main thing. throwing a pressing ham around the place with quite a yes. lot of gusto. <laughs> uh, <coughs> pressing, you'll never get it the same if you don't do it right. Do it now. Always do it straight do it now. away. Do we need so another again, handle? No, not at the moment, because the <coughs> handle, I only put that on because towards the end of the show, when you should put it on, it's not at this time you do put it on. It's just, just make out that's You got there. excited, didn't you? Yeah. You just thought you'd show that's us. It. Well, I've got the one side. So. Right, so all you do then is you literally 
match the seam. You're okay. joining the front to the back, yes. right sides together. Yes. And what you start off with is the seam. Make sure the seam, because you're using two contrast fabrics as well, you don't want it to be like oh, You really that. want it to match, you? want you? it to match. So put a pin in right into the middle. Mm -hmm. Put it, poke it through into the other fabric straight into the middle. Oh, oh. the blue bundle sold out. Well done if you got that. That's it. And then you start from there. Oh, okay. Nicola and Oxford, she says, get well quickly, Natasha. Sending all my love to you both. Thank you. How very kind. Oh, so we're nice matching this all up. It's nice with the viewers. And what we're going to do yep. is we're going to machine round yep. the three, the three sides, leaving the top open. Okay. And then what we've got to do then is box our corners. Ooh. So I'll show you this first. So that's why it's even roomier, because you've boxed the corners. Yep. Oh. So if we do that, this first. Let me show you that. There you go. That's, I do like a boxy, roomy corner. There it is. Yeah. But this is such an easy mm. project. And that you actually leave open out now at this time. Could, would, you to wanna, get the uh, shape. would you want to press that out? No, because I want the pleats kept in. Oh, okay. All right. I want the pleats kept in, you see there. You know I'm the you. shape of the pleats. But you just stretch it out so, so I'm that just it's stretching met. it out. Okay. And that's where we're going to machine round. Nice. Okay, what level is this as a make? <coughs> Beginner. Beginner? Not 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 even adventurous beginner. We're going straight in. No, it's beginner. quite it's quite a good bag to start with. Especially with your pleats as well. Um, because the pleats aren't so much, the pleats aren't difficult. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Uh, they might they might seem it at first, but they're not. <laughs> I think so. it always helps really, you know, being able to see these things. You've got the photographic instructions as well and written yeah. instructions. So we like to do that so that whichever way you learn, got it sorted. It's, it's all sorted. there. It's all there. Here we go. Uh, so it's, yeah, what, what sort of learner are you, producer? Are you visual? Yeah, you, you and me both. <laughs> no, I can't go with an know. instruction without a picture. Um, I'm the same. So there we go, you've got all of it there. So whether you are all about the words, you've got them there, picture, it just, it helps. And then, of course, you can watch again. Oh, this is what I say to everybody. When you put your order in, just make a note of the day that you ordered, because then you can always go back onto the YouTube Onto the, the YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. Oh, yes, the YouTube. <laughs> when you're on the, the internet. Um, and you can put in sewing quarter, today's date, and Janice will pop up. And I'll pop up, and you can see it. Hair. And you what can colour see is this hair today? What, what colour are we calling it this? It was a uh, red, fiery red, I think it was called. Fiery red. Fiery red. Lovely. So, there we go. So, we, I've just literally pinned it all the way around. Yep. And now we're just going to machine it with five eighth, one and a half centimetre seams. Okay. Okay. So, but like I say, because of a beginner project, yes, it's such a quick make. That the hardest part, like I say, is the pleats. And so we've already tackled got, that. We've already done the hardest yeah, bit. The hardest bit. Now, because these are glass head pins, I'm taking them out as I go along because I'm just always a bit unsure on the thickness. <coughs> I worry. <coughs> I worry about it. Yourself you are sometimes. a worrier, aren't you, Janice? I oh, am. Yeah. And that's absolutely <laughs> fair enough. Better to be cautious. And we're just machining down. Whee, down it goes. So super easy, round three sides, and off we go. And three sides. We'll put these like in so. for you. There you go. Thanks, Natasha. Now, the fire, fiery... Fiery Farley. Let's go fiery mount. I'm going to stab you. Fiery mount, that one. <laughs> Steady on there. So get to the bottom. Yeah. Um, in fact, I'll just do it like that at the bottom. So, OK, so you're going to do it as a, and then cross over. Yeah. It's only because we're boxing them. I'm just a bit... Oh, sorry, sorry. Fiery mount. Yeah, here we go. This one. Not a fiery mount. Over a third of the stock gone. And lots of you have got it in your baskets. Please check out. I don't want you missing out on a fiery mount. Farley Mount. They missed, they, yeah, I think they've, they've missed about that. She'd be fiery mount. It's like my little Aaron. She's a bit of a fiery mount. <laughs> yeah, always got to be a bit careful with her. Oh, got a message. 
Ooh. Oh, Nicola, hello, Nicola again. She says, I write down all the dates of the shows I want to watch in the back of my diary. You see, everyone's got a way of doing these things. Oh, yeah. I'm always impressed at how organised people are. <laughs> I aspire to be. You aspire. Yeah. So you're not organised yet, Natasha? <laughs> no. No. No, but I do aspire to be. And that will be the day that I feel grown up. <laughs> That's how I'm rocking it. It's not That's about birthdays. Be old. It's not about anything like that. It's the day that I am organised. Oh my word. Will be the day that I go, yes, I've grown up. Oh, okay, I've no. Uh, Juice Hammer says that that'll be boring. <laughs> well, well, you know, I might, I might get more done if I'm organised. You'll never feel any different from when you're 18. Really? To when you're my age. <laughs> oh, that's fabulous. So, but you are 18. You still though. feel yeah, 18, 18, 21, don't you? I thought. Yeah, I thought yeah, that's yeah, where 20 you were. 21, yeah. 20. I'm going backwards. <laughs> that's all right. It's allowed. Right, so that's. And with your stitch at the same time. I love yeah. that. Both days and stitching all going backwards. <laughs> so, there we go. Fab. So, just take the pin out there. I went and pleated that by accident when it was on there, but not to worry. So, um, what you do then, you want to box out your corners. Uh, yes. So, you cut in <coughs> to the corners, two inches, which is five centimetres. Okay. Okay. So, it's a two inch square, five centimetre square. I'll do it five centimetres. So, two inch square. I think that's about two. Yep. I've got it straight off. Um, we didn't give you... Oh, they are Oh, they are the lefty-lefty scissors. Yep. We've the given you the lefty-lefty scissors. Lefty scissors. Yep. Normally, we give Janice other scissors. And I then... have the rose gold ones, because I like them as well. You've got those ones, haven't you? Yeah. Uh, Floor Manager Amy bought those for you for your... She did. For Christmas, was it? Yeah, Birthday. Christmas. Christmas. So it's all in the instructions. So there you go. Shoes. There's your... Yep. There's your that bit. Very, very in informative, aren't I, today? There's we you are. that bit, just there. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean. So, to box your corners... Yes. Two inch, five centimetre squares cut out. Yes. Literally... Pull them apart. Pull them apart. Open up the seam. Zzz. <laughs> Seams. Zzz. Do you know, Jenny, she was saying before we came to Ace, and Natasha, I'm so pleased that you are learning to sew. Jeez. And I said, it's one of those things that... I've always sewn, but I've done very simple things. But now yeah. my repertoire has expanded. And, and I had that really funny thing because of standing yeah. this side of the sewing machine, um, my knowledge, I had far more knowledge than I had actual practical yeah. hands on. So in my head, I just thought I could do it all. But actually, it's only by doing it, actually doing it that you go, oh, OK, right. No, yeah. OK. So I actually, I've, it, it is important that it I match important. that, that I put that pin through both the seams at the same point yeah. to get that lovely get finish. That finish and it's all of that. But I've learned size. purely off the shows now, everything, everything in excess. Yeah. Producer Hannah feels like she's got an entire handbag shop going on in her head. <laughs> she's really made is. them all <laughs> step by step. Yeah, remember that quilt you made, Hannah? It, no, it's not one of our guests <laughs> made it, but you were there. You were there. You were there. But where else? I mean, I remember when I was pregnant with Freddie and I started sewing seriously again. Yeah. I looked for um, sewing courses to take my machine to go and sew. And sew. Oh, my yeah. goodness. They were really hard to find. Really you hard to find. You can't get them, can you? And expensive, yeah. Yeah. My nearest would have been, I was living in Cornwall, so everything was like 40 minutes anyway. So, anyway. But it was just over 40 minutes to get there, of an evening, in the dark, yeah. getting more and more pregnant by the day. Didn't happen. I got the books out. <laughs> you got the there books wasn't out. this. There wasn't this. There wasn't it. So no. you've got us any time you want us. This is us. why when I started, it was, I was so pleased. A sewing show. Yes. About yes. time. Yes. Because you couldn't, you can never, never even make a living at sewing. It was no. just... You know, so About that's why I ended up two. doing accounts. About time to... But anyway, so as <laughs> Natasha said, yes. box, boxing out, Yes. what you do, <coughs> I'll better show you again. When you've boxed, you open out, this, open out the corners. Yes. And what Natasha said, which is so right as well, which I didn't do on the first fold, put your pin in. Yes. Join it, open that seam out there on the other side. Put the pin in again there. It's like how you there. matched up those seams yeah. to do the side of the bag, isn't it's it? It's always the same. And then what you're going to do is you're going to sew straight across. Okay. That there. Yes. 
So straight across that corner, you're going, we're going to sew the five eighths. Five eighths or a centimetre yep. and a half. So Nicola's message back in. Good morning, Nicola, again. <laughs> Hello, so, Nicola. I mean, just come on the show with us. Just come on. <laughs> uh, she <laughs> said, my theory is never to grow up. It's true. But stay young at heart, carry on being creative, as being grown up is boring. Lol. She said. Lol, boring. kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> well, it is. It is. Yeah, don't need any of that. Refuse to grow up. Have you seen on um, social media, there's often uh, sort of a, a pug or something type dog lying sort of, oh, flat out like that, going, <laughs> I don't want to grown up today. <laughs> don't make me grown up. Oh, Bad days true. like that. <laughs> don't make me grown, grown up. up. Because you, it's like when you spoil your children. I always think, well, my Amy, she has everything within reason, yeah. which I could afford. And my attitude to that is, spoil your kids. Because at the end of the day, your childhood don't last long. You no. spend more time in adults than you do a child. So do you know within what? Your reason, Amy's lovely. as long as you don't spoil them too much, you're fine. You know, and that's the way I've always thought, you know. Oh, you're your childhood you? doesn't last long. So what you do then, we trim the corners that you've just sewn. Right. And then you turn it right side out. Hooray! It's a quick make, isn't it? Look it is that. a quick make. Fab. Now you do the lining exactly yes. the same. Right. Okay. So that's that yeah, bag. Yeah, I love it. Look at it's, that. It's a lovely bag. It's a smashing bag. That can be for boys too. Mm. It's a smashing bag. School bag? Yep. So now, what you do... This is the London one. This is going across the bottom. And you see, by putting in that box pleat, nice and roomy. It is, it's lovely. All my stuff in there. So get your stuff get in your and stuff rummage in. around bag, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, right, it's be so done. then yep. what we have to do then, you yep. measure in, we're going to now put our webbing on. OK, cool. OK, so you, all the instructions are in the bag. You literally cut this, I think it's about 60 inches, fold it in half. So each strap is the same size. Yes, yes. That's the quickest way to do it. But what you do, <coughs> you measure two inches in from the seam. So five, five centimetres. centimetres. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So five centimetres in. Yep. Yeah. Place the wadding there. Yep. Yeah. On the raw edges together. Right. And yeah. you it. Do you know, okay. this is why when, when we first started the shows, I'd always pay particular attention to handbag handles because... <laughs> you can it, put it's counterintuitive, isn't it? You don't expect it to go down when you need the handle up. up. But it's got to go down so it can go up. <laughs> if that true. makes any sense whatsoever. It is. You have to... When you're doing, doing it, you have to think, right, I'm gone. Yeah, no, that's how it's going to end that's up. That's twisted, so no, I'm gone. It's got to go the other way. So I've done it anyway. The wrong way, right? So two inches. Let's double check that again. Oh, I always do. Double check, double check. Smack on five centimetres. Oh, is the it twist? Is it twisted or so, is it good? Are we okay? We're this good. Time? We're good. Hooray! So, and then what you do, you, you should tack that, but I'm going straight for it. So the lining, yep. you do exactly the same with the boxing of the corners. Yes. But what you do on this top bit, you yes. gather it. Oh. So, and what you do, you gather, you gather... The and base. The base. The base. Yeah. And then you ma match the gather to this part uh, here. Okay. So you do... So you just do a two long, yeah, running two stitches. Long, sti lines. long running stitches. Yes. And then you leave the one end open. Yes. You leave the other end um, knotted, so you yep. do reverse stitch. And then you just pull yep. and gather it, and it will lo gather lovely until you're that wide. When you buy pencil pleat curtains... It's exactly the same, yeah. isn't it? You yeah. just you just have to roosh it up. That's it, and roosh it up. Uh, and that's so all then, in the instructions. And if you look, if we just turn it to the right side for now, mm. oh, <laughs> and that's what you'll end up with. Right. Look. So it's it's this one is just gathered more than it's pleated, but I'm I'm sure oh, you've it, even got a photo of it in the instructions. Yeah, but I'm it's sure good. that if you wanted to pleat <coughs> it the same, you could. Yeah, There's nothing to stop you, is there? So as then we long have... as those two top pieces end up being the same size, yeah. you're good to go. So then all we do, two right sides together, push this in. Yep. And then we literally sew around the top. So again, match your side seams bang on. Yeah. Because you'll be unhappy if you don't. 
Have I had to leave somewhere to bag this out? Yes. So when no, you didn't stitch... Do it. I didn't do it. Oh, no! <laughs> I didn't do it at the bottom to bag it out. It's a good job you just said that. <laughs> I didn't stop giving you. <laughs> oh, you know, I was doing so well today, but there's always something <laughs> I do wrong. <laughs> so annoying. So annoying. Yeah. Do you know what, Janice? <laughs> I think what it is, is that um, we know you love your stitch ripper. And, I and clearly, you, you it, haven't no. used it today yet, so, um, no, you know. No, it's not with me. Yeah. <coughs> but how many times have you done this at home? <laughs> you got carried away and just sewn all the way around and then gone, oh, no, I've got I haven't lifted it over the bottom. It's easily rectified, look at that done. Do you know what it was? I was, <coughs> I was trying to think of, in advance, where we wanted to be so we could just finish it on the show. <laughs> yes, oh no, absolutely. And by doing it, I've just not... Do you know what, Janice? You know. I love it when things go wrong right. on our shows because it shows... <laughs> well, human. no, because it shows We're that human. everybody makes... it. These are the normal things that happen to all of us. <laughs> and when it happens to me at home, I'm like... Oh. Yeah. But actually, it does happen It's to life, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Invariably, you know, Freddie will be after a snack. What is it with kids and snacks? I know. Oh, the, how, I mean, seriously, how much can they eat? Um, <laughs> uh, you I'm know, just uh, strengthening the end. But, uh, no one said they'd need feeding as much as they need feeding. Well, I used to have this old man. When, when I was a kid of, like, 16, we used, used to have, to have an old, old man. We used to have this what, old fella. did you adopt him or something? Called Frank. Right. He lived, lived next door to my little nan. OK. And he used to be a white collar, collar worker at British Leyland. Right. right. Over. And he always used to say, Seven mistakes a day are allowed. So seven? Seven. Why seven? Don't Was know. this the magic number for and him? And I've always thought of what he said there. Seven mistakes a day are allowed. That's right, you've got six to go then, so you? And I think that's the norm. We all do something and we think, mm, and it's always probably about seven mistakes a day you make. Amazing. So <laughs> whether you make a cup of tea and forget to put the sugar in, I'm always doing that. Anyway, <laughs> that, that, we've left the opening. Yeah. So now... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So what we're going to do, always start with your seams. Can't stress that enough. Open up your seams. Yes. Match your seams. And at this stage, you might want to press it as well. But always match your seams. Open up your seams. That seems to be the key on this bag, isn't it? Match those seams. Match the seams. So your handles are already tacked on. on. Yep. And they're, they are, they're on the inside. Yeah, no, you see, Fold producer Hannah, she's to the same. inside. Can we just show where those are? Because Hold producer the Hannah's confused. The handles are on this the is, inside. This is the thing, isn't it? There are your handles, and they're pinned so that they're going down into the bag, because we're going to sew around there, and then they will magically, ta-da! Yep, come burst on. out. So, when we turn it. Do you know what producer Hannah, she said, I couldn't get my head around that the other day. But this is, this is it, this is why, because there are different ways of putting bags together. So, yeah. and when you do it like this, you've, you've when you're sewing to. around the top, You've got to have handles inside That's down. It. Inside down. I look like a rabbit. Not outside. <laughs> yeah. Not outside. Always down and in. Down and so in. So again, match your seams. It's just, yeah. I'm happy with that. So match your seams when you um, put the two sides of the bags together because you've you got the contrasting fabrics. Just show them again. Fabrics. So again, fabrics. you've got your seams on yep. the sides of each front and back. So open your seams out. Like we've done on here, push your pin <coughs> in to the other half so you've got the two halves yep. together and then pin it and that's your starting point. Wilma in Greater Manchester says, watch the shows whenever I can, absolutely love it. Demos are great. Like Natasha has given me confidence to return to sewing and I'm learning so much. So much. Yes. See, people Thank do you. like that, don't it, they? It, no, it is lovely to hear. You see, I learned with my grandmother. Yeah. But sadly, yeah. she passed away when I was 15. So that was when my education stopped. Oh. And also, then you're a teenager, you're doing other things other and you than do sewing. Other things, yeah. don't you? Um, like GCSEs, obviously. <laughs> yeah, educational things. Um, but they used to have the sewing, sewing in schools and they took it out. And I think it was such. Because they used to have the boys do woodwork. Oh, we did woodwork. And the girls did the cooking. We did woodwork and, and metal, metal work. work. And metal yeah. work. Yeah, I made a... Th we, yeah. we had... My mom, I remember my mum frowning, mm. saying, hmm... Metal work for the girl. You've made a <laughs> thumb screw in metal work. <laughs> oh, That's what we had to make. I'll never forget that. I think I gave screw. it to my dad. Because <gasps> um, apparently I didn't need a thumb screw. 
with an older <laughs> brother. Well, you've done something more than me. I oh, I brilliant. couldn't remember. I couldn't remember how to do it. <laughs> so I, I met someone the other day who said she wanted to have a go at making a kitchen knife. Mm -hmm. Hannah had to make a security lock. Really? Yeah. Gosh. Now, if it doesn't sit right as yep. you're going round, yep. just manipulate it. Okay. Now, with manipulation, yes. what you do yes. is here, just fold it over your fingers. So the way that is has a little bit extra, do that over the and top. And you pin into the middle of your fingers. Top tip. And that'll... That'll sort it. Hopefully sort it. And if you do that all the way down. The and then what we're going to do is machine yeah. Yeah. just around the top. Cool. Fold so we've only in. got a few minutes left to do that, Janice. Right, so I'm going to do it now. Take the base. Oh. <laughs> take the base <clears> off. <throat> anyway you can, take that so, base off. That's it. So I'm now 5 8 C. I'm going to machine all around the top and then we're going to bag it out. And, that and it's, done. it's done. I'm going for another lot of... And then all you have to do then is sew up the bottom by hand. This is gathering a bit, I think, but I just want to try and get Wait, it going. At home, you're, oh, no, it's gathering because of the machine. There we go. You, you've got a stitch caught there. OK. Hang on. The... You've just got a little thread. There we oh, go. I'm going to have to make sure I've got my ripper for the second part. <laughs> Because if you've got your hippie, you can push your seams along. Right, OK. I'm just doing this quickly now to get people to see. Because it we is a beautiful, running out of time. beautiful kit. Well, it is, isn't it? And I think we can see that from, um, from the bag that I've got here. Please stitch. check out your baskets. This is the uh, Farley mount, which is down the bottom of your screens there. Over half of this has already been checked out. So that doesn't even include those of you still sitting in your, in your bags, in your baskets. In your bags, in your baskets, in your bags, whatever. Baskets. Mm. OK, that's that, that's that. Right, OK, let's turn it. Conveniently, there's a, there's a hole at the base for you to um, back it out. And what you'd normally do there is just um, trim that off. Just trim that seam a bit, but I'd press that seam open right. first and then turn it because it will give you a nicer crease on the other side. Okay. And then what you do then, you top stitch around the over top. the top. Yeah. Let me show you that on here. Top stitch over the top. I don't know where else I thought you might be top stitching. Uh, but here it is. And that just makes everything just sit really beautifully. And also it just reinforces oh. those handles in there, doesn't it? <laughs> Come on. Come on bag, play ball. I'm getting there. I really want to get this done. <laughs> Giving birth to these, yeah. <laughs> but we're not going to do that on the show. No. No, no. <coughs> Hang on. Do you know what? Come on. <laughs> you, oh, it's nearly there. It's nearly it there. I can't believe I didn't leave it big enough out here, did I? I'll tell you, what else is nearly we're there? We're doing it, we're doing it. Alistair's just walked in the studios. Who's going to be up next? Oh, here we go. <laughs> we've oh, got to the blue, there. we've got to the blue. So uh, maybe leave a slightly larger hole at the base. <laughs> yes, leave a hole. So then all you do <coughs> is sew up the I hole. Laugh, coughing. Sew up the hole at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sew that big up. Quick, come on. It's like a time <laughs> challenge. Is it less haste, more speed, or more speed, less haste? Less haste, more No. Which way is it? I don't know. Second the one. Second one. I can't remember what I said second time round. Okay. Less haste, more speed. More speed, I don't know. Anyway, anyway yeah. uh, we've done it, we've done it, we've done it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> My Jove, she's only gone and done it. Something. It's <laughs> all right, I'll have a quick bag whip. It's fine. There Hey, there you go, that's what it looks like. Ta da! <laughs> Yay, fabulous. So the choice is yours. 60 minute makeover. There we go. It's all done. It's all, it's all done. done. As, if, as if by magic. Right, I'm going to go look at the bundles. Thank you, Janice. Again, I won't kiss you because I don't want to keep me lurgy. Uh, thank you very, very much. Oh, you're always guaranteed a giggle when Janice is in, that's for sure. Uh, right. OK, uh, the blue's gone. Well done if you managed to get that. Uh, we've got the London buses. What, OK, no, yeah, London bus, pleated packet. Here it is. Metre and a half of fabric. Da -da 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 -da. There it is, your blue spot, your red spot, your London buses and your webbing and instructions and thread. Now, your fiery mount 
I know it's Farley, but I renamed it. Fiery Mount. Steady on, boy. Uh, there we go. Is here. He's rearing. So it's got to be a Fiery Mount if they're rearing. But there you go. That is your Farley Mount. But you've also got two linen look fabrics to go with it, which are gorgeous to work with. Lovely colours. Very rich and opulent. $24.99. If you have that in your basket, please check out your baskets. Over half have already been checked out and gone. Um, and then a whole load of you have got them in your basket ready to go. Please don't miss out on that. I haven't seen that fabric either. I'm told that we've bought it to wear before. What? There's a whole horse collection. Really? Why haven't they given it to me? Ooh. They'll say because I had half of October off. That'll be the excuse. You had half term off, Natasha. If you're not here, snooze, you lose. Uh, there's one with rosettes on. It's the only way I was ever going to get a rosette. Uh, right, <laughs> it's to make one myself. Twenty-four ninety-nine for the threads on gold. There it is. And again, you get the red linen look and then you get your spot on as well. Uh, that's just really fabulous. Now, uh, a couple of couple of things to note today. If you are brand new uh, to buying from us, hello. You might not be new to watching, but you might be new to buying. Then you're going to get there. Ta -da! A free meter, meter, whole meter of festive fabric. Uh, we're going to show you a little information more about that in just a moment. And then also, don't forget, if you had the credit back promotion a month ago, that credit should now be back in your account. We're up with a new guest after the break. See you in just a moment. Make your first purchase with us between the 4th and 5th of November and we'll give you a fabulous festive freebie. New customers who spend over £10 will get one metre of Christmas themed fabric for free. We've got five delightful prints on offer and when you check out, one of them will automatically be added to your order. So treat yourself today. But hurry, this seasonal giveaway lasts 48 hours only or while stocks last. Hi, I'm Tilly Rose and here are my three top tips. The first would be to actually be in the moment. Allow yourself to uh, be surrounded by all those lovely fabrics and cloth and thread and just take time out. Enjoy your stitching, whether that's machine embroidery or free motion or slow stitching. Just allow yourself to connect with the thread and cloth and you'll enjoy the projects much more. So my second tip would be to allow yourself to go wrong. Give yourself permission to make mistakes because we all learn from our mistakes. Um, I've been sewing for a very, very long time and I still make loads and loads of mistakes. Um, but that's okay because you can use those small little pieces in other projects later on down the line. Um, but it's good, it's okay. So my third tip would be quite simply break all the rules. Um, if you want to experiment with different threads or different fabric, um, you might have read in a pattern or something that maybe you shouldn't do that, um, I would say, yeah, break the rules. And that's how you learn to allow your creativity to um, come through in your designs. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. If you're thinking ahead to Christmas parties and festive get-togethers, join us on Monday the 6th of November when Amanda Wyatt creates two fabulous Christmas party garments in beautiful fabrics. First is a flattering pencil skirt in on-trend pleather. Wear it and add a touch of glamour to your Christmas jumper or wear it with a sparkly top and you're ready to party. And if you're looking for an outfit that will take you from day to evening, at 10 a.m. Amanda guides you through making a versatile ruche dress in Jersey. Dressed up or down with accessories, it'll become your new go-to garment. Amanda will also reveal how to ensure a professional finish with the correct tools and haberdashery. So join us for a stylish morning on Monday the 6th of November at 8am and 10am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us, even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at visit our Facebook page, 
follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. Welcome back. Now this hour we have a brand new guest. And I was just thinking, producer Hannah, is this the first time we've ever had a guest bring their own product to air? It, it, so no, apart, uh, I'm Andy Shaw and, uh, and Anna Maria Horner and Kay Fassett. So some big names up there. I'm now going to add into that House of Alistair. Today we have, and I'm so thrilled that we've got him on the show, um, Alistair McDonald. House of Alistair has brought for us lots of goodies. So this hour, we're going to look very, very quickly through what he's brought for us. If you love a bit of English paper piecing, this is the hour for you. Then at 11 o'clock, we're looking more at dressmaking. Now, a little, a little excited clap here because we've got pre-cuts. Not any old pre-cuts, Liberty pre-cuts. Oh, yes. If you are an English paper piecer, and quite frankly, you're bored of having to cut up your fabric, but you want a little bit of Liberty, then here we go. This is your centimetre and a half pre-cut hexagon pack. Liberty Fabrics, 30 pieces in there, brand new to the channel today, beautifully packaged, a lovely gift maybe, but just $7.49 for 30 pre-cuts in there. So 30 in there, absolutely fabulous. And that's one and a half centimetre hexagons. 7.45. Now, next size up is your two and a half centimetres. Here there, again, 30 in here again. So this is your Liberty Lawn, and it's all a big variety because with Liberty, the more variety you can get, the more beautiful it looks. So these are two and a half centimetres. So we've got three different sizes for you today. Centimetre and a half, two and a half, and three and a half centimetres. These are your two and a half centimetre hexagon packs. That's 10.99, um, IRHV 34. What other way are you gonna get such a variety of Liberty all cut ready for you to just go? What a great gift to yourself or other people. Now, three and a half, we will have a look at these in more detail. I just, you can only buy them as soon as they've gone through on the screen. So we're just going to whiz through these, then we're going to go meet Alistair. Uh, so here we go, again, more Liberty. This is now three and a half inch hexagon pack. So whatever size you're going for, they're here, they're there, ready to go. 15 99 and again, 30 of those. So 30 of these in each of these packs, which is really rather stunning. Already put, lots of you putting these in your baskets. Please check out your baskets. It's not often that we get to bring Liberty to wear. I don't want you to miss out. Now, something a little bit special. When you go to Liberty and you buy your fabric, what's the least amount that you can buy? It's like a half metre. So if you want a variety, it's going to be really quite expensive. But what if you could get Liberty strips that add up to a half metre, but you've got five different strips? So 10 centimetre strips, different fabrics adding up to a half a metre of Liberty fabric, all done for... Look, hang on, I'm, I'm just going to go in. I'm going to go in and show you. Show you exactly. He's la Alice says laughing at me. There you laugh at me, mister. Uh, here we go. So this is what you're... My gosh, they're really wide, aren't they? Are these going to be at random, Alistair? Yes. Yes. But it's Liberty, so it all goes. Lovely and wide. So you're getting a 10 centimetre. All the lawns. Look at this. So then, and we'll get onto this in just a moment. So, for example, this one's got that one. And that one, very, very quickly before we move on. And that one, oh, look at that. Oh, imagine if you'd had to buy a half metre of each of these. But no, it's, oh, they're so soft. They're so beautiful. That's what you're getting in this pack. All done, all cut for you. <coughs> $16.99. There are so many of you with them in your baskets. We have 99 of each of these. OK, so when they're gone, they're gone. That's it. Um, so please check out your baskets. Make sure that they've got them. Remember, you can check out your baskets as many times as you like throughout the day. We only charge you $2.95 per day for your PMP. So you're not racking up your PMP by just checking out to secure what you've got. Now, that's all very well and good. We've got fabulous fabrics. But with English paper piecing, you need something to piece it over. That's the whole point. So Alistair has very cleverly come up with... 
some bumper packs. Now these, which one have I picked up? The diamond bumper pack. And so here you've got, and if I lean these forward, you can just start to see the sizings. These are going to be reusable. And that's the key with these, they are reusable. Alistair will tell us how many of each of these we get. But look at the different sizes and you can see how they piece together because they're pieced together, you just pop them out. So for 19.99, how many of these do we get? So the packs um, vary, so if it was the... Um, In fact, just, just come over Alistair and tell us, it's a lot easier. <laughs> it's Alistair from House of Alistair. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hiya. Right, it's just easier if you tell us. Right. So most of the packs, so for instance, these ones have um, four sheets per one. So this one, um, these fit with the 2.5 House of Alistair hexagon. So these will slot in and make up, um, they correspond. Oh, brilliant, so they correlate and you can just inter yeah. interlock them. Yeah, so then in the other packs, for instance, the half, so the 1.5, 2.5 and 3.5, you get five, four and three sheets. Okay. But with this one, we're getting... You get four sheets. Of each. And then um, these are 180 GSM, um, which is a much thicker um, paper um, stock, if you like. So you'll be able to reuse these again and again and again. You'll be able to use them a lot, but it's yeah. not that thick that you can't manipulate no, it, which is great. and I'll show you how rough you can be with them, and they still oh. pop out. Fabulous. There we go. Uh, thank you, Alistair. So that's, that's the diamond pack there. Uh, now, here we've got the hexagons. Now, again, this is... Hey, was that, was, yeah, I have got the hexagons here. Yeah, sorry, so where, where were you looking at them? It's okay. They look, they're brown. Uh, <laughs> but very useful. They, well, they are, aren't they? But they're just not the easiest to sit. There you go. There, there's the way to sit. What I love about this is not only do you get the hexagons, but because you get the whole sheet, yep. you can see firstly how they interlock and the different shapes and how they're going to work together should you wish to do it that way. So this is your hexagon bumper pack. Again, 19.99, and you're getting a huge amount in there. And mm. it's lovely to have those different shapes, well, should you wish is, to use them. You, traditionally, you would buy these and you just get one shape, where we've, uh, we've put them all together to not waste any space on the paper, so you're actually getting the diamonds and everything included with them. Yeah, it's fab. And, and look how they're printed. So actually, you even get down... Hang on, let me come over to... Whoops! This side here. They've all been opened. There we go. <laughs> You've even got, so if you wanted to do sort of um, a, a cushion or something like mm -hmm. that, you've even got the shapes down the side so that you could have a full, a full square or full rectangle for the yeah. front of your cushion. And even for Christmas, you could actually just follow this as a design and actually recreate um, placemats. Oh, nice. Yeah, so if you take a picture with a, a, a f smartphone or, or a camera and then just so that you know that that's there, and then make them all up and then put them all together just as they are. It makes a nice placement. Fabulous. Fabulous. And then over here, this is our last bundle. What have we called this one? So half hexes. The half hexes, yeah. See, I knew that. I was just testing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These are your half hexes. Very unusual to get half hexes. I don't think we've ever brought you half hexes on the show before. So look, can you see how they're all ripple? Oh, it's the ripple effect. Woo Rippling in half. So you can now do two-tone. Yeah, and also, for instance, if you're when you um, put them together with the matching full hexagons, sometimes on a perimeter you just need a half hexagon to finish it flat, rather than cutting and wasting a piece. So these interlock and they slot in very, very nicely. Also, if you jig them a certain way, I've got an example with me, you can actually see um, that they um, form a pyramid. Oh, so nice. they, they form triangles. Alistair, OK. Yes. <laughs> So Martin's trained, yep. Savile Row tailor. Um, how on earth did you get into English paper piecing? Well, I've crafted all my life and since Blue Peter and Tony Hart and all that kind of thing, that's always been a main staple. And I just uh, fell in love with Liberty Print and I just, I've always done things at home, but whereas when you're doing a dress or something, that's what I'm known for. However, this just all sort of, my life. This is your downtime almost, exactly. isn't it? Well, this it? is one of the, you know, when you think as a designer or a, or a creative person, you think, what's my hobby going to be? Because your hobby is your work. Yes. And you get a bit confused. Well, this is my hobby. <laughs> right, this is your hobby. I and like, dressmaking is, yeah, your, so is I, your job. I sit at home and just quite merrily just shut everyone off, so the screaming of kids and everything like that, and just sit there and just do this. And it's, it's Your nice. son doesn't scream. I do not believe Oh, he has his moments. He's, <laughs> he's gorgeous. His angelic little face. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Right, I'm going to take these with us. Mm. We're going to head over there. Um, here we go. 
We'll go through these. There's more. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, there's more. <laughs> it's a bounty, a bounty of goodies. Come on then, Alistair, show us what we're doing today then. Right. So we're going to make a tea cosy. So I've done this one with the 3.5s right. with plain cottons. But what I've done here is I've started to... Now this is the 2.5 pre-cut hexagon and the 2.5 um, paper piece. Now you can feel that that is a really substantial um, paper piece. Right, hang on. So three point, So those were the 3.5 size. So if you're doing 3.5, then you need to get that bundle of fabrics. Yep. And that's just to give you an idea. So please check out your baskets on this. I cannot stress enough. So many of you going... I've got to show everyone this because, yeah, we're all right for time to do that. Look at these. Aren't they just beautiful? Alistair, mm -hmm. when we go to Liberty, yeah. what is the minimum size that we can get of Liberty cut? Um, I think they've, like most fabric um, places, they've gone that you can only buy a metre um, in increments. Um, I, they, a couple of years ago, they then... Because you used to be able to go in and buy, say, a twenty meter, a twenty centimeter strip. Yeah. But they stopped that quite quickly, and then it went to half a meter, and I think they've now gone to a meter. Um, so it's it's quite commonplace now that people will only sell you a meter of um, fabric. But that rather than the becomes half. very expensive because imagine how much you would need to get all of these. Oh, I mean, you're to, you're talking in this, but even if it was um, fifteen different fabrics, if you if you have a I think about how many you know half peanuts that is it's it really does add up i mean you, you would have a lot of fabric in your stash but sometimes you just want a little bit of everything english paper piece you see this is it i um when i get to pick up freddie early english paper piecing is what sits in my um in my little glove box and i can just take it out and i mean mm. look this is just some of them we've got a whole stack of them there they will be random but all liberty lawn yep a beautiful quality stunning and it, you cannot uh, fail to recognise liberty, even if you don't know anything about mm. fabric. And my husband doesn't, and my brother doesn't, and, and they would know, they would be able to tell you liberty fabric. Oh, yeah, There's just something home. about it, you know it. At home, even the little one goes, is that liberty print? And I'm thinking... And okay. he's, what, eight? Yeah. Yes. So he, he, he can tell the difference now as to, to what it is. Good boy. So, yeah. So. Excellent. Bring them, up, bring them up knowing some taste. So <laughs> three and a half inches, what size hexagons do I then need to work with? So you would work with our um, 3.5 um, inch hexagon paper piece. So they, uh, they all interlink. One thing that makes our pre-cut fabrics slightly different is that uh, a lot of people only give you, say, half a centimetre seam allowance. We give a full centimetre. And that's come from me because I like a little bit extra to be able to fold over. I can't fold you, sir. Because it, it's, it's that tiny piece that you're trying to get over. By the time you get all the way around there, you think, oh, I've got nothing left. Yeah. So a centimetre, I think, is, is far more appropriate. Um, so you allowance. can use... So with this, if you're buying the three and a half inch, go for the... Because I know that you're going to be asking, which of the bumper packs do I go for? Go for the hexagon bumper pack. Yeah. So if you can see here, so that is our 2.5 hexagon paper piece. Yeah. And that's our 2.5 hexagon pre-cut. So, okay. So when we say a 2.5 hexagon pre-cut, that's to make a finished yep. 2.5. Yeah. Nice. So it's not actually a 2.5 size that the fabric is. It's to yeah. make a finished 2.5. And look how generous that turny ovary bit is. Exactly. That's a technical term. You can exactly. steal that. It's fine. You can have that one with me. <laughs> These are beautiful. Look at this. I mean, look. Look at that. Please check out your baskets because you're going to be able to do such beautiful things as this. Is it Liberty all the way for you? Um, it is when I'm using prints. I was always a bit sort of scared of colour and print and I was always, you know, head to toe in black and I did the whole sort of, you know, 90s PR kind of thing where it was just like the second question you asked, do you have it in black? Um, but now I'm literally, as you can see, I'm a, as if I've had a fight in a paint factory. <laughs> as someone pointed out to me the other day, I was wearing quite funky trainers, but there you go. We can't see your trainers, but they're bright and colourful. Uh, now, <laughs> this, is, this, is all, this, is all, this has all come about as your own company. Mm -hmm. 
And what I love about this is you've gone, yeah, do you know what? Because it's my company, I can give you that extra seam allowance. I can create these wonderful bar, uh, bundles, which mean that actually, if you are creating anything where you want to, because this is always the shame for me, it's with English paper piecing, every stitch counts. Mm -hmm. And then you're chopping off the edges around. Don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. No, it's all in there. So you can, you can get those straight edges. That's really important. So how long have you been English paper piecing? Oh gosh, for about um, six years now. Um, the range is, is, um, isn't is as old as that, um, but um, and it was only in recent years, but then it was only through doing it myself and seeing people at trade shows um, up in Birmingham, what have you, doing doing this, and then actually buying a few things and thinking, actually, do you know what, I'm not quite, this isn't working for me, I don't know, you know. You do it a little bit different. Yeah, and then you start to think, okay, well, what makes it a little bit easier, or... I like to sort of strip things back a little bit. Even though I'm a, a technical pattern cutter, I wouldn't stand here and start saying, oh, well, you do this and point A, point B, and what have you. It's just to show people simply right. how you can achieve something. And everyone works differently. What I will show you, somebody else won't do at home and vice versa. Okay. Let's, 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 right. let's, let's do then. Yes. So another one of my little tips Come on, is that, um, right, I use a very technical thing called a paper clip. Right. Okay. This is going to be your go-to um, thing on paper pieces. The reason okay. for this, and I'll just illustrate it with a um, needle, is that a lot of people will pin the paper piece on. Now, what that does is it bend, distorts this and bends it, and you won't get a tight wrap around oh, the paper piece. Oh, so that's piece. what you're after. So... The difference with um, putting the paper clip on is the paper clip doesn't alter anything. It just clips it onto the side. So get a big bumper pack of paper clips. Yeah. So I use that just, I only use one. You can put two on if you wish. So this is the only ever time that I tie a knot um, in any um, thread. So I'm using just a, a, a top stitching thread. Mm -hmm. You don't have to use anything um, fancy. If it's a synthetic, when you're ironing, just make sure you put an ironing cloth over. Okay. Because if it's not cotton, then when you iron it, it will melt and it will melt all over your work and that's not what you want. Oh, no, 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 no. So, I didn't even think about that with, with threads. Yeah, because you're, you're basting it on and you only release the basting after you've right. paper pieced. So this is this is the very traditional way, isn't it? I mean, we've we've got glues and all sorts, but this is your traditional way yep. to English paper piece. So I like that. Take it right back to the the origins. Yeah, I mean, I'm all for, for instance, you know, sometimes getting the glue gone out and stuff like that, and using bits and pieces than what you would normally do. Um, but you know, there's nothing quite like um, doing it um, uh, this way. So once I've um, I've started that, so the the <coughs> knot is there. Now the trick is to go in and out. Don't go over. If you right. bring the thread over like this, when you come to whip stitch, which is your tiny stitches to bring them together, yeah. if you catch that thread when you're trying to pull it out afterwards, it becomes really difficult. Okay. So I've gone out here, so I'm now going to go, I'm going to fold this over. Now I use, I use the needle to... Yeah. So I roll the needle onto my finger and I feel that button, then I get a tight roll. Aha. Uh -huh. And then that gives me my crisp And you go through corner. both those corners. I go corner through pieces. both. Now, a lot of people will do a middle stitch because I'm lazy and I've been doing it for a while. I then skip that bit and then I literally go corner to corner. Okay. But it depends how how reckless you want to be. Oh, on a Saturday, <laughs> reckless stitching with Alistair MacDonald. <laughs> I say we didn't put that in the no. show description, did we? So it's, so it's Saturday. Now, these bumper packs, ladies and gents, please check those out because they are... Super, super, super popular. I kind of knew they would be. I did, yeah. because what I've discovered working here is that um, you love them. You love them. Uh, so we've got three different bumper packs for you to choose from. I'm going to start off with, look, the hexagon one that you're working with at the moment, and this is the joy of the hexi, is, so you're going to get... One, two, three, four. Oh, no, hang on, there might be five here. So the big one, you get five. You do get five, but look, you see, so five of all of those, but it's not, you see, this is where I think it's a little bit disconcerting because, not disconcerting, we've undersold because not, you're not just getting your hexes, you're getting your diamonds in there too. Mm. Fab. And so you're getting five sheets of those 
And as Alistair says, just take a photo on your phone so you can see how those all go together. So that size there, that size there is your, th I want to say three and a half. So then when you buy your three and a half fabrics, inch fabrics, then is it inches or centimetres? Uh, these are inches. These, these are inches. Uh, then, then that gives you your seam allowance as well. So they are cut to, a, to give you a finished three and a half inch if you're going for that. So you're getting three and... Whoops. <laughs> Here we go. There you go. <laughs> it's really hard to see, isn't it? Three and a half, two and a half, and one and a half inch, I want to say, in there. Yeah. So whichever, so if you're then buying the correlating Liberty, that's why we've done it. So that you can buy the bumper pack and you get one of each. Let me show you. It's, it's, the, the photos are really tricky to see. So there you go. That's your three and a half inch there. That's your three and a half inch. Now let me show you a two and a half inch one. And this is all in your bumper pack. So this is your hexagon bumper pack, but you've also got your diamonds in with your hexagons. Yes. Which is, this is the one you're using at the moment. And then you get your idly biddly ones. Do you like the idly biddly ones? So we have, because we've got these one and a half inch, two and a half inch, three and a half inch, that's why we had to bring you the Liberty hexi packs to coordinate. You see, there was method to the madness. And they're <laughs> your little idly biddly ones. So um, we've just shown you, we're using at the moment the two and a half inch one. But you get all three in that big bumper kit, which is fab. There's so much choice. There's loads of choice. And I think once you start, honestly, once you start English pe uh, pay, pay piecing. <laughs> <laughs> paper piecing. Paper piecing, yes. <laughs> Uh, you don't, you can't start, you literally, it, well, I find, I personally, <coughs> I find it quite addictive. And it's one of, it's one of those few things that I've um, started doing. You just sit doing. there and just go, I'll just do another one. I'll, well, I'll just do another one, and then I'll just do another one. Well, you see, I loved it so much that um, my latest book that I have just finished, <laughs> with sore fingers, um, literally is on English paper piecing. And oh, really? Yes, uh, but what I didn't uh, realise was once I had actually decided what the projects were going to be... <laughs> you had to make them all? Yes, and then it Hence was... Hence the sore fingers. Well, the thing is, you can't use the largest hexagon all throughout the book because obviously you know you want to show variety things <laughs> but yeah there's uh yeah it was um some of them i was like it's a good job you love it then isn't it really <laughs> it was yeah it was really nice but then then they slapped me with a deadline and i was like oh uh, okay oh. there goes christmas <laughs> this is you know this isn't this isn't something that you just do in your lunch hour. you can do it in your lunch hour but you're not going to get it finished in your lunch hour but it, now it, it's a great thing to do on the bus and i did this on the way up on the train Oh, did you? Yeah. I had a lovely conversation with a lady that sat down next to me at Northampton. And, um, yeah, we were talking about all the different quilt shows and she's making a quilt. And all oh, sorts really? Of, yeah. You see, you can make, you can make friends bringing <laughs> things like this on the track, but you can. You see, I remember talking to Kay Fassett when he said that he, he um, first learnt to knit. He asked someone on the train when he was on the train back from Scotland down to London. And he asked <laughs> the lady opposite him... Um, if she could teach him to knit, if she knew how to knit. So she taught him on the train. Wow. See? Now, uh, what would we use the half hexes for is a question that we've had. Let me show you the bumper pack for the half hexes. It's, okay, they're all, they're on a theme. So you get your one and a half inch, two and a half inch, and three and a half inch. And the designs are all the same um, in the hexes. So in this bundle, this is what you're getting. So you're going to get these in the three different sizes. That's probably the easiest way to explain it. But you get your half hexes, which means, as Alistair says, if you're finishing off a border, then just use, just use those as strips. Or if you just want to you know, showcase off as many of these fabrics as you want, then you can do that. And actually, because you've given such a generous seam allowance, if you're careful, you can get... But I tell you what I've forgotten to bring in, and if I can ask uh, Magic Hands to um, pick them up from the seat next door. Jay, on could the, you possibly go and grab? On the seat um, next door, there's some examples of um, what I've done with some things that I forgot to bring in. Oh, there we go. And that will make it all very clear. It will make it crystal clear what I can do with those. 
So in the half hexes, it's the same as with the full hexes. You get your three and a half inch, which we've shown you. You get your two and a half inch. And look, you're getting five sheets in there as well. And then you're getting... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Where's it gone? There it is. Look at the idly biddly ones. I love these little one and a half inch ones. So loads of you with that one in your basket. Because normally it's just... I've not... Well... Normally you just see full full hexes, don't you? So maybe you want to pop in your baskets, the full hexes, the half hexes. Oh my word, you have you didn't do all that on the train. Oh I did well, I did, I worked quickly. <laughs> so that's your die. So that's uh, what you can sort of just using diamonds. So this is out of the so if you want to do diamonds, grab the diamond bumper pack. All of these are now on the website for you to choose from and go through. Oops. We're sending liberty everywhere. I know. <coughs> So okay. That's just all using diamonds. So you can see that that's just... So you can do a starburst sort of effect and you can come right the way out. You can do... You can use... Hang them. on, let's start with this one. So this is using... The, is this using... What size is this? Is this the smallest so one? So that's the smallest one. So that, would, that will be the diamonds that come on the, um, the 2.5 hex pack. Okay. So that's that. And you get that in the multi-pack. Um, now... Uh, so that is... that one have I got the right one uh, it's on where oh, it? so this one oh, that one so this one is the big um, <coughs> diamonds one. so that's um, what that pack will make look at that stunning and then that's the same size isn't and it but it's just a different same. design so this is all in the diamond pack if you're getting the diamond pack this is the sort of thing that you're going to be able to make you're going to get five sheets of each Gosh, let me just show these sizes. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, you've got some sort of fatter shaped ones as well. Mm. There we go. Well, let's show you the picture of these. There, can you see that? Yeah, you can see those, can't you? I just love seeing the, the finished ones. <coughs> Fabulous. Now, so they're your diamonds. Let's put those to one side because... What we've also got, let's put the diamonds down there. Now you promised us half the half hexy pack. If mm. you're buying the half hexy pack, that's the sort of thing that you can be making with it. Or with your liberty. So for instance, on here you can see that there's a there's a perfect gap there. And for instance, when you would put another hexagon in there, you'd only need a half hexagon if you wanted a completely straight edge. Otherwise you stitch all of that and then you end up uh, cutting it. Cutting How it annoying. We've thrown, look, we've thrown Liberty. Yeah, it's <laughs> just Liberty all over the place. Let me tidy that up a little bit. Um, absolutely stunning. Please check out your baskets. What are you doing? Well, what I've done is I have um, taken out all of my um, whip stitches, which is a really easy process. So right. once, so you can see here, once you have, so because it's only a tacking thread, yeah. so you just find where your end is and literally you're just pulling the thread out. Now, the trick with this, so for instance, you should only ever pull a thread out. I mean, we don't need these um, edges here because we're going to cut those yeah. off anyway. But <coughs> um, if, you're, if you do need um, that to be a solid edge, then you would only remove the paper where all the edges are sewn together. So um, once it's all encompassed, then, then you can remove, remove the, paper. the paper. Because then you can then uh, get to this stage again. Right. And then you can start creating. So with one pack, you don't have to buy enough packs to be able to do the whole thing and then take the papers out. You can start taking the papers out As you in go. the inside. And let me show you here. You can reuse them. That's the joy of these. Yeah. Because they're that heavier weight. You can join Now half the stock of the hexy bumper pack, and that's the paper bumper pack, that's not the fabric, we haven't even looked at the fabrics, um, has already gone. Gosh. Has already gone, and that's checked out. That's not even thinking about those of you that still have it in your basket, that's those of you that have bought, paid, checked out, done, sitting back, relaxing, feeling slightly <laughs> smug. <laughs> that's a nice way of putting it. Well, yeah, but, but exactly. you do, don't you? It's early worm. Early bird catches the, the worm. worm. <laughs> early worm. So I'm just going to shorten it to that. <laughs> and so then just pile them up, 
and keep them for your next, just keep, keep yeah. going. There you go, fat. Now, for instance, when you're, we'll, we'll move on to the, the whip stitching stitch. So you can <coughs> see here that I've literally caught the edge of my paper. Now, you don't really need to worry about that at all. Obviously, it would be ideal if we didn't, but we're all human, we're going what? to. What? I know. What? I know, you've okay. caught the edge of the paper. Oh. So the good thing about this is the thread, if you just use your, and you just wiggle it off, it, what, it, what this, the thread does is it slices through. Okay. So this one, even though that's quite close to the corner, that corner is still perfectly, um, still... Uh, because it's that heavier it's weight. It is, it's the heavier weight. The corners are what you want to try and keep as precious as possible. Okay. Um, but um, is it pretty fair? much... Yeah, it's done, perfect. Exactly, and it is so, so, so simple. It really is. You can see I've just caught another one there, just done that and the thread just slices through. That is absolutely fine. You can see that that edge, that's had a little nick there, but that's absolutely fine. You're gonna be able to fold your fabric over that and use it again. Yeah. If you're investing in these today, you, you wanna be able to use them time and time again. In the bumper packs, you get the three different sizes. They incrementally go up by an inch. So you get your one and a half inch hexes, your two and a half inch hexes, your three and a half inch hexes. If you're buying the Liberty Fabrics, then the packs, the one and a half inch pack, will give you that finished one and a half inch size. So you don't have to go for the bigger size to fit that. One and a half correlates to the finished size. Um, and Alice says, given you a, a centimetre seam allowance around there. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, this whip stitch that you're whipping away at over here. Right, so the trick with paper piecing is you're just catching the fabric. And the, it's just those end threads, isn't it? Yeah. Now, I'm using a thimble, um, which most people will do, and that's when you start to catch the paper a bit more because you don't realise how much, how many, <coughs> how thick you're going through. Um, but literally, and it's just about how thin you make the stitches. Now, if you're new to this, the biggest mistake anyone does with hand stitching is they get a massive piece of thread <laughs> and literally... <clears throat> I don't know what you mean. Mm -hmm. Still not quite so new, still doing it. Oh. Still not learned. Because <laughs> you think actually having to re-thread a thread is going to take far longer. Uh, no. It, it, what it will do, you're ending up and you're going literally right the way over to the other side of the room because your thread's so big. Plus also, you will, it will make a lot of thread actually um, coil up and you get those awful knots. Well, here's the thing. We had we had a little um, impromptu quiz in the office the other day, and our buyer Ian said, by volume, what do you think has been our best selling product ever on these shows? Mm -hmm. Do you know what it was? The needle threader that Irene brings us. Oh. And, um, and so suddenly, having to thread needles, not a problem. And she's back, I think, next weekend with her needle threader. So if you're doing the English paper piecing, maybe look at grabbing that. It's only sort of five pound or something, five pound 45. So grab that if you don't already have it. But that just makes this so much easier because it's threaded, it's done. Oh no, the Hexi bumper pack. Less than half and that's checked out and gone. That's not about those of you sitting with it in your basket. Uh, the half Hexies, how are they looking, producer Hannah? Oh, yeah, well, half of those gone already as well. You see, I love this. I love that so many of you are English paper piecing. Um, so with Poppy, with Poppy, um, Poppy's Remembrance Sunday, as mm -hmm. it's otherwise known, not Poppy Day. <laughs> uh, I, I remember seeing a lady, I think she was sat outside a supermarket and she, she had English paper pieced poppies onto her um, onto her tablecloth that she was selling her poppies from. Oh, nice. And I said to her, I said, oh, isn't it absolutely beautiful, lovely. She said, oh, I've English paper pieced it, but nobody knows what it is. Oh, oh I do. <laughs> oh, I do. And it was beautifully done. So there are a lot of you English paper pieces out there. Exactly, it's like a guilty now, pleasure. Now, as we go around here, this is, this is where everybody, when you first pick up English paper piece and goes, what? Hang on. What? Yeah, How? it gets what? a bit fiddly. What do you do? Right, so literally, and this is how brutal you can be with the pieces, okay? okay. So literally, as, a, as a, a law, even though those do fit in together, you shouldn't be able to hand sew all the way around those because it just looks too difficult and too complicated. <coughs> but all you need to do is you just need to literally, and you can see what I'm doing here. So I'm just holding it. Just fold it. So I am literally just folding it. 
I'm not being precious about it. Um, you, the plastic versions of these, I don't get on with at all because you can't you can't manipulate them. You can't you, you can't bend them properly, and they don't fit. And you can see that that's. But that's why I love your can-do attitude. It's like, right, so I'm just going to bring out the absolute perfect one. To my mind, this is absolutely perfect. It's yeah. the right weight. You can use it again. It's um, it, it's malleable. You can manipulate it. You can fold it, and you can still use it again. Look at all of these. These have all. You, you can see they've they've got the pin pricks in where they've um, the needle pricks where they've all been basted on this. So they've been basted. They've, look, you see, there you go. There's the fold in there. But you can absolutely multi-use these. Now, let's show you the hexagon bumper pack. You are getting all of that. So you're getting <coughs> one and a half inch, two and a half inch, and three and a half inch um, hexagons with the diamonds in between. Five sheets in each. So that's 15 sheets there for 19.99. So just over a pound a sheet, that's brilliant value. Mm. Um, becoming very limited, please check out your baskets on that. Now, let's also remind you, whilst Alice there is stitching away, of the, the fabrics that we've got for you. So for example, if you are buying the Liberty 30 piece, two and a half inch hexes, they will correlate to your two and a half inch hexes and look look what a generous seam allowance they've got so the two and a half inch hexi bundle will give you a finished two and a half inch hexi pack you're getting 30 in there so i think there are two of each ish but it's quite random yeah, it is quite random but again that's what makes liberty print i think the kind more of like a liberty lucky dip yeah, and the thing is, is it there's prints, there's thousands and thousands of prints. So trying to choose what you do on one day is like, mm, I'm really like, mm, and then you suddenly choose another one. Yeah, yeah. it's very difficult. Um, over a quarter of the stock already gone. Please check out your baskets for these. Um, Ten ninety nine. This is how it comes to you. What a great gift! It's a fantastic gift. If you were, and also, sorry. <laughs> no, no, you go for it. <laughs> You know when you're sending a little minding to somebody at Christmas and you don't normally spend you don't normally send a big gift or something if you popped one of these little packs to somebody who's a quilter just in your their Christmas card as their little present it goes just for a cost of a stamp it will go out so you don't so actually yeah because yeah. postage at Christmas is the other thing that bumps up isn't it it goes really expensive and so these the little ones the the finished one and a half inch just 7.99 for so, 30 pieces and also the actual paper piecing packs the reason we've done them this way and they're so flat they go out as a large letter oh um, nice nice so these are the smallest ones here marie sent a message we'll get we'll get to marie's message in a minute look at these loads of you have this in your baskets please check out you're getting 30 randomly generated all liberty lawn fabric english paper piecing pre-cut so there's no wastage you use exactly what you have and you can use this with your hexagon bumper pack or with your um half hexi bumper pack you can use it with either of those and you are good to go but please check out your baskets on these i knew these were going to be popular and knew that the bundles were going to be popular. Brilliant stocking filler. Yeah, that's and if a you're, great idea. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And if you're going for the bumper bundles with your English paper piecing pieces, then why not treat yourself to all three different sizes? Lots of you multi-buying these. Don't blame you. Don't blame you at all. How absolutely gorgeous. How else are you going to get such a range of liberty in one swoop? It's going to look like you've got the best stash of fabric, isn't it, when you whip up a quick something out of this. Imagine, um, I'd actually like to do a, um, like a tablet cover mm. out of this English paper piece on the front, because it's not too daunting a size if you're just starting out, if you want yeah. to do the little ones. That's the other thing to mention about this. If you are new to this and you want to, if you're the person like me, 
uh, and a few people that I have living with me that like to see instant results. Instant gratification. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Then start with a larger one because if you start with the small ones, you'll then start to go, okay, well, I, I'm, I'm still doing it and I've done 20 now and it's only made that sort of size and then you get really sort of agitated. Start with a large one and then work your way down. Or do things like a pin cushion. Yeah. You know, do a smaller project so that it's there, finished and done. Look at, I mean, just look how, random, but look how beautiful it is. Now we were saying earlier, if you want to make this go further, you can mix some of your planes through mm. to make them go, but it's entirely up to you how you want to work it. Ooh, now that's, so that's, so let's show you the difference between the sizes. So that's your one and a half, we've just spoken about that. That's your two and a half, and again, these give you your finished sizes. So one and a half, two and a half, and three and a half. This is your details coming up on your screen for your finished two and a half inch pre-cut. I cannot stress that enough. Mm. Don't buy these thinking that you're gonna then, that that's the size and you're gonna do a two inch finish. No, 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 this is gonna give you a finished two and a half inch hexi. So that one there, 30 of those for 10.99. So one and a half inch, two and a half inch, that's the details on the screen. And then this one up here, actually I'm gonna swap it for my favorite one here. <laughs> no one's saying, it's seamless. This is your three and a half inch. So if you've gone for um, either of the hexi bumper packs with the actual paper pieces, then you could buy all three of these and work it through and you'd have mm. something to do. Again, 30, 30 in each of the, 30 in each of the kits, but 30 of those for 15.99. Now, the strips, this is what's very exciting as well. Oh, look at that! That's the ditty one. That's so that's nice. what you're gonna be making with the iddly diddly 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 one. Fabulous. And as we were just saying, mix it through with your planes. Mm. Makes it go further. <coughs> now, strips. Yes. You, you, uh, it's quite satisfying, isn't it? It is. I'm just so <laughs> merrily getting, <laughs> getting on there. Well, no, well, do you know what? Right. This is a fabulous idea, Alistair. I, I don't know where you came up with it, but I'm very grateful that you did. Um, strips. 10 centimetres, so that's four inch strips. Let, hang on, you grab one end. Yeah. It is 137 wide. All cut and done. It looks like we're about to decorate the Christmas tree with it, doesn't it? <laughs> la, 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 la. Uh, garlands. <laughs> <coughs> but there it is. So then you can then decorate or do what decorate. Mm -hmm. So whatever you like. So you're getting, um, again, these will be random, but you will get five. So that adds up to a half a metre of, of a variety of liberty. Look at this. Why did you do this? Why did you do this, Alistair? <laughs> <laughs> why? 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 We're very grateful that you did. Look at that one. Isn't that stunning? This is called English Field. Um, right. And did you know that a lot of the Liberty prints are actually named after the staff that work at Liberty? So oh, really? For, yeah, so whenever you see a female name, mm. or what have you, for instance, I used to work on the shop floor, and one of the gentlemen I used to work with was called Richard Cooper, and he has the Richard Cooper print. Oh, wow. And then the receptionist um, who had the big red lips and then... Um, white um, sort of um, hair, uh, Judy Rose, she's got her own one called um, Judy Rose. Oh, so you'll fabulous. see, so if you ever go into, or you see the name of some of the prints and you see Michelle or Chloe or Celine, they're all named after staff who work in there. Uh, I was just shy of a few years to actually have one. Oh, so you have one. to have, it's, it's like um, instead of getting sort of the carriage clock. Yes. You get a, a print named after you. Fab. I didn't know that. That's like great pub quiz trivia. Mm. Now, here we go. There, so this, this, is, um, this is an example of what you begin. Now, remember, these are folded in half, so you're getting double the amount. In strips. How, how stunning is that for 16 So why did you do this? We, we, I asked that, and I think we digressed. Well, the reason for the strips <laughs> is just so that, for instance, for a lot of people, 
going back to the, the age where you could go in and ask a fabric store for those, and quilters would go in there, but they wouldn't just ask for one, they would ask for 15 at a time. So it would take a lot of time. It would take a lot of time to cut, that's why fabric stores don't. So we decided that, oh, well, when we've got the fabrics all rolled up to do a lay, oh, why don't, at the same time, why don't we just, just do cut some. some strips and then we can put them in packs and then it sells. And people really, really like these because the, the 10 centimetres, you know, if you look at the, you'll get a lot, uh, as long as you place it all um, frugally, and you use everything, for instance, never throw away any of these little scraps, because if you do machine embroidery as well, and you just need, like, for instance, a little piece to do leaves or something like that, then you've got that. Well, also, for example, the little bits, if you're going for the um, half hexi pack, look how tiny these little pieces are here, or these little corner bits there. Mm. Never throw anything away. No. That's, you know, that would be a tiny bit that most people would throw. No, 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 keep it, keep it. So when you've got, and actually you could just cut those down so that you've then just got square patches, good to go. Oh, hello. What are we doing now? Right, so you can see in that point that you made about cutting excess off, yeah, we don't really like doing that. Um, so, but I'm going to have to You're going today. To. Yes. So, so this is for this, we're making a teapot cover. We're making a teapot cover. In 10 minutes. Oh, right, exactly. so, okay. <laughs> right, so. You literally just need to, the most important thing is measure the, so a bit like your hip um, waist and bust measurement, yeah. do the same with your teapot. Okay. Okay. So if you measure all that and also measure the height, right. okay, that will give you your, um, whatever your circumference is, is half it and add a little bit extra okay. so that it's not a snug fit. Okay. And then you, that's how you would draft out your pattern. Essentially make a rectangle. Yeah. And then mark off, go down around for the dome part of it, for the height, add on around about, I would say, about um, 10 centimetres on the top and then round it off at okay. the top. Okay, fab. So we're just going to quickly um, just mark around um, here. And, of course, we don't really need to mark the bottom because I know that I have to cut um, straight okay. off. Okay, hexi bumper pack down to single figures. Please check out your baskets and make sure that you don't miss out on that. So I'm just going to cut these little um, pieces off. And again, these little pieces will become um, useful as well. Well, hang on. Can I take a little piece out of this? Of course you can. I'm going to take a little, a little edge. Here we go. Out of my... Um, well, this will be the same as the full hexes, which we're down to... These little bits that Alistair's just cut off. That little bit. Look, never throw it away. Because look what you can then do. You've got that to use. So most people, that size fabric, psh, throw it away. No, 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 don't. I would have um, a dedicated Liberty scrap bit. Yes. More of you have these hexy bumper packs in your basket than we have stock. So we're going to take out the details because not all of you are going to get it. Please check out your baskets. Uh, it, it's just one of those things. We knew that they would be popular. Now, we've got a few other packs to have a look at as well. So whilst you... Okay, show us what... Ooh. Okay, put it in your pocket. <laughs> no one's watching. It's No fine. one's watching. No. Right. <coughs> so I've just altered the shape of mine um, okay. here. So you can see that you've got your tea cosy. Yes. And you've got um, this. Now I'm just going to... Because I know you want to um, show people. So, so um, we're, we've already um, added a, a centimetre seam allowance. So this is where the um, the part of the layering gets up so that you can pull it all the way through. Right. Right, so you need to have your front, but that needs to be um, face down. Face down. So right sides together with whatever fabric you're using. Yeah, the right the sides back. together. So we have... Um, so the back and the front, we need to have um, a wadding section. So we just place one Sandwiging of Sandwiching it all together. Yes, yeah, but it's, it's this layering that is the integral... Um, part. Okay. So we then place, ooh, you then place that there. Okay. And then you place the last piece of wadding on the top. And then all you need to do, you need to pin all the layers together and then when you stitch all the way around here and you cut the bottom off, when you come to um, turn it all the way through, 
you literally, if you can imagine, you're pulling um, this section here yeah. all the way over. Okay. And then when you pull it under, all the seam allowance gets trapped inside. Fabulous. Okay. Yes. But then you have your um, your um, you have your lining um, underneath, and that's all you see in this oh, in the centre. So you can see that everything's been trapped inside. Right, I'm with you. Okay, so it's going to be wadding on the back, and then and then that and then that will fold through and go with that. So then you've got. You see, I would have thought you then put two... Yes, so I've got another section to put underneath okay. here. Fab. So you've got two lining, yeah. you've got one back and front, yeah. but the most important bit, that you, so you can't go wrong, so right, the back and front, right sides yeah. um, facing, wadding to sandwich either side, yeah. like a sandwich, and then on the bottom piece, you put two layers for the lining. Right. Fabulous. Well, Whilst do. you sew that... Yep. I'm going to show you all the other bundles, because oh, it's been... So, Individual pack, sorry. It's been such a, a jam-packed show. We haven't even had a chance to get there yet. Now, let's have a look. Now then, these are... Uh, what, hang on, what shape have I got here? These aren't in bundles because they're just, they're just unusual ones. What, which shape, what shape have I got there? Right, pentagon. so this is the pentagon. Yes. Now, if you use these in conjunction with a hexagon, it creates balls or spheres. Oh, lovely. So you can create a whole football with these if oh, you nice. wanted to. So you're, And again, you're getting all the different sizes there as well. So five sheets there, seven ninety nine. Fab. So that's for your um, pentagon. Now, individually as well, if you want... I'm going to call these fat diamonds. What have you called them? Squares, probably. Uh, these are, yes, these are squares. But when they're on their side like that, they look like fat diamonds. <laughs> if I put them like that, then you can see they're squares. Now, these are going to be perfect if you've got your strips of liberty. Yeah, and also, if you put these together and make like a box, you can create little pots and baskets with these oh, ones as squares. Yeah. Trinket holders, lovely. So that's that $7.99. Now, if you want to get... Your, uh, your triangles, then you can grab those as well. It's all in there. So again, all of these $7.99. And so that's for your, um, your two and a half inch triangle packs. There, fab. We don't have masses of stock for these uh, of these individual ones. Right, the next is the diamonds individually. And these are the big ones. There you go. Look at those details. I'm just I'm listening to that sewing machine whirring away there. <coughs> <coughs> They're your 60 degree diamonds. Now, if you want the three and a half inch hexagons, half hexi packs, then we've got that individually as well. So three and a half. And again, you see, you've also got the diamonds in there as well. So seven ninety nine. So five sheets in those. Fab. And then if you want the um, two and a half inch, let's go down in incrementally, two and a half inch by themselves as well. Half exes. Half exe and diamond pack. There you go. Then that's seven ninety nine as well. And then if you want the one and a half inch ones, so they're getting smaller and smaller by the minute. <laughs> then you can do that. And of course, if you're doing half hexes, you're making stuff like that, but in whatever size, obviously. That just gives you an idea. Could be done, of course, in your beautiful liberty. There. And then what else have I got? Ah, these are your three and a half inch. Hexy. So if you're one of those people that's going to miss out on the on the big bumper kit, which is great value for money, it's fantastic value. Then um, then you can get these very very limited on the big packs. But if maybe you're just starting out, this is the first time that you've done it, then maybe go for this seven ninety nine. As Alistair says, the larger sizes to start off with. Yep, and then more start satisfying. With and work your way down um, until you get the bug. Yeah. Once you got that bug. And then these are your two and a half inch ones there. And details will come up for that in a second as well. So you can buy, again, all of these 7 dollars and you're getting multiple sheets 
and then but just not a lot of stock of these so that's why we sort of it's only because they've really sold out that we're showing they're about the others about to sell out that we're showing you these um hexi bumper pack is about to go so here we go 7.99 for one and a half inch hexi pack there now alistair it looks mm. like you've so I've, I've got to you a crucial like part. That Victorian and lady quite, sat uh, with a... Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> right, so uh, you can see now that we've stitched it all together and how simple is that? N nothing, <coughs> nothing else to do. So we want to go in between the what we're seeing on the outside. Yes. So the front and the back. So literally you just get inside there and then you pull this through. Fab. So you can see that... Isn't that beautiful? It's lovely. What a great gift. Uh, although by the time you've made it, you're not going to give it to anyone, are you? No, I don't think of it. No. <laughs> the idea is there. Yeah. The sentiment is exactly. there. Exactly. You could write them an IOU. Look what I could have given you. You could have had this. <laughs> However, actually, I'll just give you the constituent parts and you can make it yourself. Exactly. What are the, another great idea. Uh, so that's out of the two and a half inch hexes, but doesn't it look beautiful? And again, using those two and a half inch Liberty hexagons pre-cuts. Please check out your baskets, especially on anything from Alice's first show, says producer Hannah, because right. <laughs> it's, it's just going to go. It's, it's going to go. It's just going to go. Can we... Do you want to see what the, the actual... What the paper packs of it, producer? These ones. What has been ridiculously popular is the stocking filler. I love, I love, I love how generous we're being with everyone here. Then they're all down here. 30 pre cut. This will give you a finished one and a half inch hexi. I don't want to say they're one and a half inch hexes because they're clearly not. They are bigger than that. You've got an extra seam allowance on there, extra generous seam allowance. But just look how gorgeous they are. Right, Alice there. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. Where did that hour go? Thank you. Mm. Mwah, mwah. But. You are going to be back. I am. And we're <laughs> going to make a bolero jacket. Exactly. I say we, you know. But you can... Stay tuned. <laughs> Janice is back in a second. Bye-bye. Bye. Follow us on Twitter for more inspiration, top tips, news, and share your own creations with us. Make your first purchase with us between the 4th and 5th of November and we'll give you a fabulous festive freebie. New customers who spend over £10 will get one metre of Christmas themed fabric for free. We've got five delightful prints on offer and when you check out, one of them will automatically be added to your order. So treat yourself today. But hurry, this seasonal giveaway lasts 48 hours only or while stocks last. So I'm going to be showing you how to do an ease stitch. Um, it's very similar to our running stitch here, um, but the purpose of it would be different. So I've kind of mocked uh, the head of a sleeve here. Nine times out of ten, you will have to ease the top section of your sleeve. So this is the stitch that you would do that with if you were going to do it with hand. So I'm going to use the embroidery thread. I've just popped a knot on the end again, just so it doesn't pull through. Normally you wouldn't do it with um, embroidery thread. So on your sleeve, normally these sections will need to be kept as they are, because it's only this section here that we need to be working with. So I'm going to be doing a running stitch quite close to the edge of the fabric. I'm just going to do the quick method here where you're pulling the needle through the fabric while keeping it on the same needle. So I'm going to stop there and then pull that all the way through like so. So you can see that I've got just that section sewn there and then as I begin to pull you can see that I'm easing the head of my sleeve in. So when that is stitched these curves should disappear, they shouldn't be there because you've eased the bigger section into a smaller section on the clothing. So that's easing. Tune in on Sunday the 5th of November when we've got some fabulous shows lined up for you. Jane Alcock will be joining us at 8am and 10am to share her expertise in quilt making. She'll be passing on plenty of tips and techniques along the way as she creates one of her stunning designs. Then at 9am and 11am, the lovely Irene Colesby will demonstrate how to use the Infilla Automatic Needle Threader. 
it's such a handy little gadget that solves the frustration of threading needles. We'll also introduce some of the new Lewis and Irene fabrics. So make sure you don't miss these action-packed shows on Sunday the 5th of November from 8am to 12pm only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Hello, welcome back. Now for our th yeah, third hour today, Trouble counting now. Um, you've got me, Natasha McCarthy, and I'm joined by Janice again. Who's going to make this? But with a twist, and the twist is Tilda. We love a Tilda twist. My cup runneth over today. Liberty and Tilda. Yes, please. So that's what we're making. Let me show you the bundles. In fact, we're making all sorts of goodies, not just that this hour. Uh, so we've got various bundles for various things. Let's take a look. So the bundle we've put together for that one is over here where you're getting a half a meter of your gorgeous brand new Liberty and a fat quarter. I love how the two of the fat quarters come individually as well. So half a meter and a fat quarter and also a half a meter there of a coordinating pink. So we've picked up that sort of raspberry pink and look how well those three to go to go there. Lovely price, lovely price, says producer Hannah. Lovely price at 15.99. Um, for basically three quarters of a meter of Tilda and a half meter of another fabric. Fabulous. We like it, we like it. Oh, now look what we've done here. So here we've mixed it up a bit and we've given you, because this is the hardest thing to do is to find the, the plain colors that go, because sometimes we want to make our Tilda go that little bit further. So here what we've done, is we've given you two beautiful Tilda Fat Quarters. No, we haven't. Is that wrong? What should I have? Let's go and have a look at the green one. There you go, Jay. You, you have a look at that. There you go. Jay's going to go and uh, sort that one out. Let me show you the green, because I know the green is right. Ha-ha. So here with the... Ah, oh, look at... Mmm. Have you seen this? I think this is probably one of my most favourite ever Tilda fabric. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? I don't know anyone that could look at that and not love it. Uh, they wouldn't be friends with me if they could. Let's just put that. 14.49 gives you two Tilda Fat Quarters, because you've got the firework, very appropriate given the weekend, the firework fabric and whatever we're calling that, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And then half a metre of your Kiwi Spot On. And that's 14.49. And we're going to be making, we've got lots of makes this hour. I did warn you, we've got lots and lots of makes this hour. Um, so for 14 49 we're going to show you how to make a nice little craft caddy. Now, here we go. So, let's try that again. Pretend you didn't see what happened earlier. Um, this is now the other bundle that we've put together for you. So a half a metre there of, I'm going to call that antique blue. Oh, it's vintage blue. I can never remember if it's vintage or antique, so I always call it the wrong one. So, vin yeah, retro -y blue. But you see, look, it's picked up in those fabrics beautifully. Look in the... Oh, gorgeous. That's a technical term. Oh, love it. And then, here we go, what we've got, and that's... Oh, wow, look at the price. 12 49 Is that an error, producer, Hannah? It might be. Uh, it's so real, take advantage of that, because there's a saving on there. Mm, take advantage of that. We can't change it now. It's there. Whoops. You win. Uh, now, oh, but look at this. Isn't that just exquisite? So for twelve ninety nine again, I don't think that price is quite right. But hey, look, let's just go with it. Uh, two, because these are four ninety nine individually, the Tildes. So it means that for, you're getting half a metre then of your plane. Yeah, you, you've got a saving. Well done. WGGC44. Isn't that beautiful? That's your blue Tilda bundle. I don't know which one to go for. I need them all. Oh, decisions, decisions. Janice, which one did you go for? Hello, welcome back. I like this one. I do like this one. Yeah, but, but then again, the blue is nice as well. I love this one. But then one. again, I like them all because the green's my favourite colour. 
<laughs> so. Exactly. So you have to look, you have to get them all. Now with this one, you get half a metre of the beauty of the cat face fabric, I'm now going to call it. It's not actually called cat face fabric, strangely enough. Um, and you get a fat quarter and you get half a metre of that fuchsia pink in there as well. So $15.99. Now, this came out of Fat Quarter Quick Makes, which is here. But we figured that if you were after a quick make, you might be new to this sort of malarkey. Yeah. Or maybe you just want Christmas gifts or maybe you just maybe you just want a lot for your money. So for $37.49, you might think that's an expensive book. But it's not just the book that you're getting because you are also getting dressmaking scissors, thread snips, fabric markers, Janet's favourite seam ripper. That's what you did up earlier, it's over here. The package. Glass headed pins. And then your uh, tape measure. It's like, what, what was that, that game show where they used, it used to go by on the conveyor belt and you used to have to remember, if you wanted it, yeah, you used to have to remember what it was. Scissors, pins, seam ripper, <laughs> and the book. <coughs> Basically, everything you see on your screen, because my voice is about to go, for $37.49. And the project came out of the Fat Quarter Quick Makes book. Uh, we've also got the book for you by itself. So... And everything's in the book. And everything's in the book. Everything that we're making this hour and the came back out of the book. What is, page is the cut on? So the tem templates are all in the back. Oh, templates in the back. And they show you what to blow them up to. So the cat is blown up by 200%. Okay. And the facial features and that is just by 100%. So it's okay. just a copy it out of the book. So, but yeah. So the only one you've got to really blow up is the cat's head to make the cushion. That sounds so wrong. <laughs> right. Okay, so you have to, uh, let's say enlarge. Enlarge, yes, that's yes. right, enlarge. There we go, you just have to enlarge the cat's head yep. by 200%. To get that size. I think you could make this into a bag. You could. You could I make really do think you could bag. make this into a lovely bag. It'd be lovely, wouldn't it, as a bag? Just attach the handles so, to his ears. Yep. This isn't sounding any better, we're all animal lovers here. <laughs> it's true, All animal it? lovers. <laughs> so... There we go. So to start this project, yes, because we need to whip, whip, whisk along at a nice pace. Um, I've done most of the face, so all we're going to do is the actual mouth part. So all you've done is cut out a back and a front. Yep. And okay. now I'm going to show you how to do the, the actual applique with the wonderful bonder web. So you need your bonder web for your applique. Yep. It's all on there. And it's easy peasy. Okay. So all you do, first of all, you trace. Mm -hmm. Now, the bonder web comes with the gluey side and then the paper side. Yes. So what we've got to do is trace it, the paper side. Yes. And because bonder web is clear, we can... You can use it like tracing paper, can't you? Use it as tracing paper. But what you've got to do with this, because the mouth is in black mm -hmm. and red... Right. What we need to do is trace round the mouth in pencil first, mm. but then the tongue mm. we're doing separate. Okay. Now, because I'm doing it at this angle to try and show the viewer the paper behind. And the fact you're left-handed. It always comes down to left-handed, is, isn't it? I know. I, do you know what? It's, it's one of those things. My dad's left-handed. Actually, he was um, ambidextrous, but then he was forced to choose. And he went, he went with the old left-handed thing. Well, and my he gets... mum went up to school when I was little and said, Janice is naturally left-handed. I don't want you forcing her. Because years ago, they forced yeah, you they did, to didn't they? Yeah. start with your right hand. And she made sure that I never did that. So that's the mouth mm -hmm. in a fashion. <laughs> and then... It looks like a moustache for I me, know. It? The tongue is there. And that's your tongue. So this is a nice, quick, so, easy make. Once it you've is. got your, um, your pattern, just cut out Good. two. So Great the, gift. So if you've the got anyone web. in your life that's a cat lover. Now, the, you don't cut round it. You, you literally cut just a triangle. No, a rectangle, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> a rectangle. And then what you do yeah. is you press this oh, onto your oh, belt. Yeah. Yep. 
and then you cut round it because that makes it easier to do it that way. Now your fondant than... is on the website. I've just got to wait for the iron to heat up. It was switched up. Uh, so I've just got to wait for that so to, what going to heat do up for a moment. Press that. I will do that. Onto that. In just a second when it's heated And then up. press that onto that. Fab. And then when it's stuck, we literally cut round it with right. our tape scissors. Let me tell you then about uh, the felt, because you're going to need felt. It might be that you've got felt at home. If you haven't, then have a look at this. Da, 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 da. Now, the black, you get, you get a huge amount in these, I have to say. You do. And we said that felt is the perfect um, accessory for all of your Christmas decorations. Freddie and I were making Never Christmas wasted. decorations the other day. You get a whopping 60 by 60 centimetre sheet, and you get three of those, so a huge amount for 10.99. So that's in your black. And then, so your black and your red, perfectly for your yeah. Christmas decorations. Yeah. I use them for the back of my Christmas decorations. My beautiful fabrics on the front, felt that's on it. the back. Um, and then your red, again, you're getting 60 by 60 sheets at centimetres, um, and three sheets of that, 10.99. They details there. And also, if you are a beginner, yeah. and you've never done it before, always put it up into the far corner so you don't have any waste yeah so don't go and Frugal cut it. it in the middle cut it on the corner so that you've got you know you, you just don't have any waste if so. you've got some cotton or your teflon ironing sheet pressing sheet use that now i yep. haven't got it tanned so i'll just da, da, da. but do as i say not as i do that's it because <laughs> you don't want to bung up your uh, your iron otherwise you'll be me. I'll, I'll give that a little cut for you. Otherwise, you're going to be um, on it. Or you're going to so be looking for this one. Should I cut this one? The, the iron you cut cleaner this one? that we've got. <laughs> for those of us that, you know, so that's love the idea of having a pressing sheet, just haven't quite got around to buying one yet. Cut round it. This is a bit and this is where cut you round. cut it absolutely. There you go. That's lovely. So we are just cutting it round. Now, I'll just do that to get rid of that at the moment, to get rid of that bulk, to make it easier to manoeuvre. Or oh, can I bother yeah, with those? Yeah, course you Thank you. That's it only better. uses such a tiddly tiny piece, doesn't it, of yeah. felt? So you're going to have so much left over, because you're getting a huge but amount. But like you say, you can use, in your stash, you'll be surprised how many times you use it. I use felt quite a lot, mm. actually. I like felt. To do lots of projects. Do you remember fuzzy felts? Did you grow up with fuzzy felts as a kid? Fuzzy felts. Do you remember fuzzy felts? Did Amy have fuzzy felts no. when she was little? No, I don't remember it. Fuzzy felts. Producer Hannah, fuzzy felts? Fuzzy felts. Yeah. So, so then you can make your own fuzzy felts. What Great. you do, you peel the back enough. Now, I always struggle with this because I've got no nails. <laughs> Come on then. Hand it over. You... The other thing to do is just get, um, get a pin and just scratch it. Oh, there we go. That's that one. <laughs> have we got a pin? <laughs> just scratch <laughs> you it. you got a pin. Thanks. So if you do, if you, you do struggle, good idea. then just, yeah, just... And then so you just peel the like paper off at the back, off the bundle web. There you go. And then just place it... Now, this side is sticky and the other side isn't. So all you do then, place your felt in the middle of the nose and that can go straight down there. So Aww. then... You then press it, if you can, for me. And I need some black thread. So that's going to okay. be, I think, oh, it's, fact, I think they say about seven seconds or I whatever. I won't depends. do black. I'll do white so they can see the stitching. Oh, OK. I'll do it white. Because we've got quite a few projects today. I've kept to the white because of this back with us sewing the sides yes. and that. There you go, <laughs> that's on. done pink, really. So that's on. So if you're new to applique, that's just a really lovely way of doing applique. Quick. Yeah, and it's it's there, and then you can you can just if you want to, then you can just highlight it with your stitching, like Janice is, like what Janice is going to do. Yeah, yay! Because they're coming out with these ideas all the time. Yeah, and like bundle web is a new thing to me, and it's I've struggled with applique, and that, and that bundle web is so quick. Do you know what it's, it's wonderful? It is one of those things. So bundle web is on the website. The bundle that Janice is using, if you've kind of fallen in love with the cat or the fabric, whichever way around it is, this is what you're getting in that bundle. So you're going to get half a metre of that gorgeous cat, fa cat face fabric, which is Tilda, and then you get a half, uh, a fat quarter and a half a metre um, there as well of your fuchsia. 
That's so solid fuchsia for 15 99 I'm just sewing straight down the middle of the mustard, well, the, the mouth. Yes. And I'm just being very careful, manoeuvring the machine. And I don't do reverse stitch again on this. I actually just will sew the thread through to the other side. And do you then tie it off? Tie it off, yeah. Oh, okay. But if, it, if it's a black thread, you could do reverse stitch on here. Um, but um, it's white, so <laughs> I'm doing it. Because so it looks I, better. Producer Hannah and I were saying earlier, you know, you could use little bits of fabric out of your stash, but the beauty yeah. of felt is, of course, it doesn't fray. No, it doesn't. It's lovely. And that's the absolute beauty of using felt. And also, I like the texture of it. So to have the contrast of the texture. They okay. always use felt at the schools, didn't they, when we were growing up? Yeah. So I'm just going to do the... And then the, bit, uh, the little tongue sticking out. The tongue. My cat, HP, yeah, she's a great one for sitting there with her tongue out. <laughs> she's just, and you, you just turn around and look at her, she's there. Um, she's ever so funny. She's always done it. It's like she, she washes really? herself and then just forgets to put her tongue back in. <laughs> she's, she's such a funny little creature. She really is. So 15 99 gives you your white dove <laughs> tilde bundle. <coughs> what a beauty that is. It is nice, isn't it's it? It's gorgeous. There we go. Um, quite a few of you got that in your basket. I don't blame you. But get in touch. Let us know what you've been making with them. Do you love the cat? We've got lots of different ideas for you today. So um, I still think you could make this. If you did this twice, yeah, then you could you could do it like we did the, the bag earlier. Lining. I am just going to tie it off for quickness because we need to attach the back. We do, yeah. So, and because we are going through quite a few things today, there we go. But the white makes it stand out. I'll just do that. Now. And again, that's where it becomes that's a design it, choice. Yeah. It's it's up to you. But you can see where Janice's stitching is there. That's the stitching. So as you can see that over the. Can you see the stitching? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> so then, Fab. all you do then, you cut the front and the back. Your machine these together, but you make sure you leave an opening, Hannah, <laughs> to turn it. Not Hannah, Natasha. I'm calling you Hannah, no, the producer. Sorry, right, Hannah's our producer. I'm sure she's she's done it as well. <laughs> We've all done it. We've all done that thing. So we're just going to pin are. it quickly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crazy! We are crazy, aren't we? It helps. It does. It's not necessary, but it helps it working here. Help. That's what I've discovered, Janice. <laughs> so, again, just stick a few pins in, or wonder pins, whatever you want to use. Because that's an, another good invention. And then, You've discovered them all, haven't you? I have. So I'm going to leave... Where should we leave the hole? At the top Down the, the bottom, bottom, because the that's, bottom. you're not going to notice it, because it'll no, sit on it. it'll sit on the bit. Yeah, it's true. So let's start at the top. Use a 5 8 seam. Then again, now I'll use a centimetre seam. So, a centimetre seam. All yeah. of these are in the book. Shall we, whilst you. Yeah. So, whilst you sew around and leave the gap. Machine in and leave the gap. <laughs> I'll keep reminding you because we've all done it. Uh, this is what you're getting. Fat Quarter makes 25 quick and easy projects to make, all from fat quarters and fabric remnants. Oh, now if you've got your um, odour coat, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's on the website as well. Bunting and flags. Yeah. Oh, little brooches. You see, remnants. If you have some of your Liberty um, fabric from, yeah, you could have a Liberty yes. Owl. It's all there. <laughs> it's all there as an option. Again, so your basic tips and techniques. And that this is what I love. So it's broken down into different ways. So fashion and accessories, they're all here. So your mobile phone cover. Let's face it, everyone's got a mobile phone now. Jewelry roll. I think we've done that before. Your owl brooch, there it is. I, I would be doing that out of the liberty that we just yeah. had on the, on the earlier show. Yeah, yeah. Now, what about this, your applique patch? So you can put your, um, oh, when your kids go through the elbows yes. of their clothes, you can patch it with their initials. School have just sent out a letter for us. Can everyone please make sure that all their children's clothes are labelled? Are labelled, because oh, of the last property. <laughs> there you go, baby and child. 
here it is. So your, your party bib, and again, I would be eau de coating that heavily. Uh, pillow dress, ever so pretty. But again, all with your back quarters. Look at the baby bloomers. <laughs> oh, hello, ridiculous cuteness. And your cat cushion, just something really cushion. lovely. And you think that kids see in contrast for the first however many weeks. So they'd, they'd take great interest in that. We've got a wrought iron bed, and when Freddie was a baby, I thought, oh, he's looking at me, he's looking at me. <laughs> no, he's not. He's looking at the black and the white contrast yeah. of the wall and the, and the metal of the bed. Oh, uh, yeah. You thought R he was ruined it for at me. You. Yeah, no, I thought he was looking <laughs> lovingly at me. No. So I'm just going to If you are a beginner, we've got this as part of a bundle with everything that you need to get going. So your scissors and your snips and your fabric markers and all of these. Let's have a look. All of those. Which is just fab. And that's 37.49. But so you get the book, you get all of those goodies that go with it. You've got a stitch and picky, you've got pins, you've got little snips, you've got big dressmaking scissors, you've got three different coloured fabric markers, and um, and then the little brushes to brush it away. And then you've also got your tape measure. So everything you need to get going. No. Fab. So then it's all in the book. You just turn this after you've machined it right side out. And then what we do is get the bodger. Is it the dobber? No, bodger, dobber. Derek the dobber. Dobber. As, um, <laughs> I don't remember what you call it. As John likes to call it. <laughs> okay, so then we just push the ears out. With whatever tool you've got in your cupboard. <laughs> That's that one. It's a good ear. It is a good ear. Quick, easy make. It is a really quick, oh, easy make, so isn't quick. it? Yeah. There we go. And then, we, then how you finish it off is by putting the beads, just two beads in you, you know, because they do say as well, because of the beads, small children. Yeah, so, you careful. know, you finish it off whatever way is appropriate for whoever's being given it. So it doesn't have to be beads, it could be buttons, it could be sequins, it could be whatever you like. All sequins for cat's eyes. Yeah. You know, I, sh I nearly put sequins on it, but because the book said beads, I thought, no, I'll You did it to the letter, didn't I you? Did it you to behaved the yourself. I did. There you are, fiery redhead, Janice, behaving yourself. Oh, you're Whilst gonna see you the stuff, the I'm going to go look at fabric. Okay, look, stuff lovely. away, my love. I'll be back in. in a minute. <laughs> we'll leave Janice quietly stuffing in the corner. Uh, <laughs> The details you had on your screen is for this bundle that Janice has been using there. So, half a metre, tilted by the half metre, ladies and gents. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. Look, oh, it's so gorgeous. If you've never played with tilde, you need to get some in your life because it's just beautiful. And then that's your uh, fat quarter. And then you get half a metre of your fuchsia. So that is a metre and a quarter. <coughs> Excuse me. For 15.99. Sound like I've been a heavy smoker half my life, haven't I? Really not the case. Um, <coughs> excuse me, coughing and spluttering today. I know it's not pretty. Right, uh, this is your green bundle here. Janice, is this your favourite? Because green is your favourite colour. Okay. Yeah, okay. there you go. 14.49, two fat quarters from Tilda and a half a metre of, I'm going to say, pistachio. Oh, no, it's, or is it lime? Anyway, green spot on. 14.49. Ah, oh, I love these new tilde. This has got to be, got to be one of my favourite tilde prints of all time. <coughs> Beautiful. Now, maybe you just want red and blue, but with a little twist. So this is your uh, vintage blue. Yay! I always want to call it antique. It's not. It's vintage blue, which is picked out beautifully. Look at the blue there. Two Tilda Fat Quarters from the new Cottage range. Loads of you have this in your basket because, yes, look at the price. The price today working heavily in your favour, twelve forty nine. There's no management in today. <laughs> so they've got the wrong price, they've got the wrong price. Doesn't matter, twelve forty nine. You grab it. Treat yourself. NEGC 77. Nice. And then here... This would be my one. Oh, this one or the cat one. Oh, this, oh, I didn't, oh. it's this, it's this blue. It's just exquisite. This is coming in at 12.99. This is the most popular bundle today. I'm with you. 
I'm with you. I know Janice's favourite is green, but I'm, I'm, I'm all over this. Twelve ninety nine for your blue Tilda bundle. Two fat quarters and half a metre of your pink. <coughs> Third of that already gone. Gosh. Now, Janice, let's have a look at your finished cat. I've so got that's my, the finished uh, cat. Mm. And all we've got to do now is just sew up the bottom. I'm going to have to excuse you with my child's cup. So all Health and safety there. in the studio. All about that. You sew up the bottom. So a slip stitch along there. Yeah. And then it'll be done. Shall I do that while we start the next demo? Yeah. Because I know we've, we'd, we want to cram. Because there are 25 different makes, and it says that they're quick makes, we're going we're gonna to do another one. Right. That's that one. So. <coughs> you... <coughs> no. You'd be both using this. So, if I just... Do you want me to thread this up for you? No, that's all right, I'll do that. Sure? Yeah. So, the next one is... <laughs> now, she's throwing it around the place. Have you got the packet? Got the actual packet anywhere? Please, my lovely. Here we go. Self-cover buttons? Uh, yes. So, again, those scraps, those Liberty scraps, don't throw them away. Those Tilda scraps, do not throw them away. Five 22mm self-cover buttons for two ninety-nine. Hello. Well <laughs> we'll sell out on these because these are always very, very popular, so please get them whilst you can. That's the thickest needle known to man. It is rather, isn't it? Yeah. Needle. Jay, have we got a thinner needle, please? There's another one there. Is there? Well, then again, that's thicker as well, isn't it? Do you know what? I'm going to go into my uh, sewing quarter and kit look, and get one out. There's my colour. I won't advertise it. <laughs> That's your hair colour. Oh, no, nice. So we've got a template here. <laughs> we've got a template. It again shows you how to use the template in the in the actual I, in I the actual you, book. I but absolutely love you. <laughs> I thought I need cardboard. Where can I get cardboard? Waste I'm not nothing. Oh, no. <laughs> so. Did you die just for us? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did it last night. So yesterday, I should just say. So yeah. So that's your template. Mm. Um, now in the book. It says about compass, using the compass. So if you've got a compass, but my Ranger children kids. have grown up and I haven't got a compass. So I use, now in the kitchen, there's base always of circles. Cup. I use the base of the glass. Oh, okay. Because it's six centimetres across. Okay. That's a tiny glass. What was so, that, a sherry glass or something? Was it, which one? No, the wine. I think it was a wine glass. So, if it's six centimetres across, that's what you need. Right. So, if you just go around measuring your kitchen glasses, <laughs> not the guy did, or use a compass or make a circle, you just click. So, the first thing we do is we cut the template out. Brilliant. So, Brilliant. if I use my pencil on the wrong side <coughs> of the fabric, and this is how you do a covered button, handmade, if you haven't got a machine. Right. Because you can get machines for buttons. But to make your own cover This is buttons. to make your own cover button. Oh no, I don't need a machine for that. This is easy so to do. So all we do, cut down the circle of the mm. Tilda fabric, mm -hmm. which is a beautiful fabric. I'm pleased that you're using this. I do love this one. This is, again, this is out of, I'm calling it the cat bundle. It's not, it's white dove. So you still have, you still have plenty because we haven't even, we haven't even Started used the fat quarter. We're, no. we're just taking like the tiniest little bit. And yeah, again, do don't waste your fabric. Do it as close to the edge as you can get away with. There you go. That's what you're using. So you're not even going to use so, um, half of half of no, the fabric no. for the for see, the cat, are you? See, you've got that much left. Now, if you do that straight in the middle there, you've you, <laughs> with your face. Yeah, so don't. always use Scraps. going to the corners. If you're a beginner, going to the corners. So there's your button. So. If I well, that's that your fabric. It's, it's, it's not a fantastic quite button yet. Fabric. We're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite button yet. There, that's it. You know. <laughs> so then, have all a go we do, with it. you have a needle and cotton. <laughs> we tease you mercilessly. <laughs> it's because we love you. <laughs> you do that tease me. But yeah. the funny thing is, I don't pay any attention at all. <laughs> 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 when John's insulting me, I just ignore him. Oh. <laughs> I like to think of I it just as beat gentle him up with the teasing. Hands. Beat him up with the hands. <laughs> so all we do, tie a knot, because you just need to do a running Pressing stitch. Pressing hand, producer Hannah. <laughs> you need to do a running stitch in about a quarter of an inch. 
all the way around the circle. So I'm right. going to sew all the way around the outer edge of the circle a quarter of an inch. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to do this because we tie not in the thread at the end. I'm going to do this where the, the thread knot is on the inside. Okay, right. so okay. it always has to be on the inside. So it's so a bit you like a gathering do, stitch, basically. But it is like a gathering stitch. It's exactly what Again, it is. Again, by hand. <laughs> Again, by hand. So that's what we do. This is where everyone should be taught to hand stitch. And the nice thing about this is you can make button covers, buttons for all your garments you're making, not just for like, you know, your cushions and things like that. This is for your dress, dresses you're making, everything. Yeah. Cover buttons are great. Oh, yeah. Because they finish the outfit off. Well, they do, don't so. they? That's the bit that you really notice. We had buttons on a show the other day on a dressmaking show, and the buttons yeah. that were actually on the item that I was wearing were by far the most popular because and it just really brought nice. it all to life. Yeah. They were absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Really they lovely, beautiful. Aren't they? they are nice. So you just a long running stitch. So it's a long the running edge. stitch around the edge and then just go and pull it through right. to the back. At the, when you get finally get round to the end, you just put the thread through the fabric. Right. From the right side to the inside and leave it like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And that's, I don't know if you can see that running stitch close up in the white or it I might think be as better. we start to pull it, we'll or start it might to be better it. that side. I don't know if you can see it. But then what you do, you get your button that you're going to cover. Lots of you multi bind these button packs. We don't show them very often, so grab them whilst, whilst we've got them, whilst you can. So, and what you're going to do is you're going to put your button right into the middle of what your little yep. fabric piece. Yep. And then you're going to pull the thread in. You're going to pull it all in. Right. Okay, and hold the button. So gather it all. And you gather it up. So if I can just get that out of the way. So this always see reminds me of uh, okay. Little Red Riding Hood and, uh, and the, the cap that the big bad wolf always wore. <laughs> so you pull it in as tight then as you can without breaking the, th the thread. <laughs> so what I'm doing, I'm just going to push all that excess down because you want it excess because you don't want it coming open until the top of it metal piece in the middle comes through to the other side like right. so so stuff okay, it all in stuff it all in yes and then what you're going to do yes. you're going to do a stitch to keep it together so do a few stitches right. sewing it down okay. into the back of the button right okay I'm with you. so yeah. if you do that now if you want to do it double thread you can there's nothing to stop you if you're a bit unsure you can do it into double thread or single thread. So you just do a few stitches round and then pull it through and then you cast off the thread. Okay. But you've got to keep that coming through. Okay. Yeah, because that's what's going to sew the button on. Because that's what's going to sew, yeah, exactly. So snip it, move that out the way <coughs> and then this is the hard bit. <laughs> this is the hard bit. <laughs> because I sometimes haven't got the strength to push it down. And over the years... Did you have your Weetabix this morning, Janice? No, I had a poached stick. <laughs> Claire says, hi, Janice. So, thought okay. you were a natural redhead. <laughs> of course I am. Yeah, of course, of course. Just, <laughs> of course you know, with added benefits. Uh, lovely make this morning. Looking forward to my bundle arriving. Hooray, well done, Claire. So you've just got to press this in. I sometimes use my teeth and I shouldn't, I know. You sometimes use your teeth. <laughs> to do it. But when I was doing it yesterday, just... just there oh, we go. There you go. You just in. After that clip. And there's your button. And, it's done. and of course you can fussy cut this. Yeah. So that's your buttons. Let's have so a look. Now, yeah, here we go. There are all your buttons. So I did them in all the fabrics that I'd, we'd been using today. So if it, whatever fabric bundle you bought, apart from the bluey one, we haven't got that one. But our next project is in that. Yay! Fabric. There so, they all are. So, so there's your buttons. buttons. So that's your self-cover buttons. Yay! So all you need is a bottom of a 
is a, is a, is to dye your hair, <laughs> get your, get your whatever, <laughs> and off you go. And uh, off this is a cat finished, by the way. So that's your cat. Yay! Very cute. Very cute. And that's out of the fat quarter quick makes. Oh, well, I'm going to go. There. Keep that up there. I'm going to go look at the fabric bundles. Hang on. Okay. I'll be back in a minute, Janice. I'll Lovely. let you set up for the next bit. Okay. Now the fabric bundle that you've been using, Janice, is now the most popular. Oh, oh yes, it is. Half a meter of your fuchsia, half a meter of that one, and uh, which is Tilda, and half a meter um, fat quarter of your Ditsy Tilda there. So fifteen ninety nine. This is your white dove Tilda bundle. It's really particularly gorgeous. How super lovely is that? Fifteen ninety nine for a meter and a quarter of fabric. Yes, please. And three quarters of that meterage is Tilda. Rrr, yes. Now, this is your green bundle. Yeah. Here it is. So you've got two Tilda fat quarters. Gorgeous. And a half meter of your spot on in green there for fourteen forty nine LLGC sixty four. That's your code in order to get those fabulous. Yes. Now, should we go blue? Let's go blue. This was until a few moments ago the most popular one this hour, but it's overtaken, snuck in. Two of your Tilda, beautiful Tilda fat quarters. And of course, we've given you that pink in there that just coordinates beautifully. And look at the price, 12 99 We think that's an error. Our fault. You make the most of it. Can't change it now. It's out there. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, so 12 99 I believe they call that a maniacal laugh. <laughs> uh, right. So grab that one. And then the other one, which I think we've also got the price a bit wrong on. Fabulous. Use that to your advantage is with the vintage, yes, vintage blue. Look at it, look how it matches beautifully. And with your two Tilda Fat Quarters, just exquisite. Uh, so for 12 49 loads of you with that in your basket, please check out. I don't want anybody missing out. I don't want anybody to miss out. Oh gosh, we're down to our last 20 of those. Please. Check out Janice. Look what yeah. I found. The organizer. It's a paintbrush organizer for paintbrushes or sewing equipment or yeah. This so uh, if knitting you... needle, anything you like. It could be yeah. jewelry. It could be anything. Anything. Um, so a great excuse to get that tilde out. So if we have a go. So at this is in the book. I'll find in. it in the book in just one and moment. Then... So there it is. Just fold that down and then roll it. Yeah. So put whatever you like in there and then just roll it and tie it. And tie it. Absolutely gorgeous. It's lovely. Isn't We're it? going to make it in the blue. Yeah. Fabulous. Um, I'm going to leave you to get going while I find it in the book. Okay. What do That's they call lovely. it in here? The paintbrush. Paintbrush. Holder. Yeah. So again, you have your two main pieces of fabric, mm -hmm. and in your main piece, you cut a rectangle for your main and a rectangle for the pocket. <coughs> then you do one that's going to be for your lining. Right. Okay. So then you actually interface the back of it as well just to make it a bit strong. God, that fabric is just so exquisite. Lovely, isn't it? Janice. So that I'm using as the lining. This okay. I'm using as the main. So I'm going to, what you do, first thing you do with the smaller rectangle, yep. the smaller pocket, fold it exactly in half. And what you have to do is that is going to be the top of your pocket. Oh, okay. Okay. Not this edge. So don't, pockets made Don't simple. do it that. Do it that way. And also, because this has got an actual <coughs> pattern to it, don't do it upside down because the flower is upside down. Okay. Make sure you do it the right way. The right around. See, that way is the... <coughs> if I do it that way, it's the wrong way. Mm -hmm. If I do it that way, it's the right way. I'm with you. Okay. I see. So... Yep. So the first thing you do yeah. is you machine down the two sides and the bottom. Do I need to leave a turning out anything on the bottom? Or no, not? because not until you do it right. to that one. <laughs> you tried to trick me there, Natasha. Well, no, 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 I did. An honest question. An honest question. <laughs> she did. She tried to trick me. So the first thing we're going to do is... Now, what you've got to understand as well, yes. in, in the actual pattern, 
Um, it saves a certain type of pocket, but you can make the pocket to whatever you, your tools are going to be. Oh, yeah, because it, so sort of, it does the little it, compartments on you can that, see on, on that there. one, it does eight. But if you look on there, I think I did probably seven pockets there with the machine in. One, two... I don't know. But I think there's about six or seven there. So the first thing I'm going to do is just machine down... So I would put... I mean, they've put paintbrushes in there. I would put makeup brushes makeup. or whatever. Odie coat the inside. Yep. Makeup brushes. And it would be lovely if you've got a young teenager yeah. in the family, a lay a girl who you want to buy makeup for, a makeup brush is set for Christmas, and you could make her the this to oh, if only I'd thought go about with it. it in the Christmas fabric yeah. that you're getting free today. I bought so Stephen's niece's um, uh, I bought Stephen's niece's makeup, well, one of them, uh, yeah. makeup brushes last year. Yeah. And um, she used she's, to be you know, nice she's to do. 15 going on 25. Yeah. Yeah. But makeup brushes are the way forward. So, yeah, something to do. Something you can... like that. And then make, make this out the fabric yeah. for Christmas. Yeah, absolutely. That so then she can free. pop her brushes in there yeah. and then clearly illegally take them to school because they're not meant to wear makeup. And it hasn't cost you, I think it's only cost you as much as the brushes did in the Do you know what, Janice? Well done. You're very good at promoting this. Uh, <laughs> so that anybody buying today for the very first time, we've got a promotion, which is what Janice is talking about, where you get a free metre of Christmas fabric. You don't get to choose it. It's so like a lucky dip. It is. But you've just got to spend over £10 as a new customer and you will get a metre of Festric fabric. T's and C's on the website. Yep. Go and check those out. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, I put it in there. <laughs> I'll back and well. also, <laughs> this is the thing. So a month ago, we ran a promotion which was called Credit Back. So you got, I think it was 10% of whatever you spent yeah. back into your account as That's a credit. I was doing that that has yeah. now just landed in your account. So if you go to your certain quarter account, if you did that, yeah. You and so you can put that towards any of these purchases. So I think a lot of you doing that. Good on you. It's good. It's like a little present, isn't and it? And of course, and because you do get a meter of Christmas fabric, you could make one of these, the cushion. <laughs> yes. And yes, yes. <laughs> for the teenagers, better. Christmas cats. Christmas cats. You see, I asked the other Lovely. day about this. Um, how many of you make gifts for your pets at Christmas? I don't. <laughs> you don't. I should really know. Oh. I don't. I should really should not. I buy them loads instead. Right. So next thing you do, measure your pockets. So you can have two inches, two inches, two inches, three inches. It depends what you so want to put in. So it's whatever you want to put in. So what I'm going to do with a marker, I'm just going to mark a few lines to stitch down. So this so is your water erasable that we're using here. Yeah. So that's three. That's three inch. What shall we do, Natasha? Oh, what, what, what? Hey, what? Uh, what let's go, is. let's go. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. And then you'll have a big one over here to put in whatever you want that's to do. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So if I measure that to there now, six and a <laughs> Doesn't matter. You might no. have a notebook or something. One, two. Oh, well. I'll just hope for the best. <laughs> So I'm going to machine... It's only live TV, what can go wrong down there? I'm just going to machine down there, down there and down there. Do you go slightly over the edge so yeah. there's no rip or tear on Yeah, but what, again, what I'll do there is just pull the thread through to the other side. OK. So that it's not forward and back, forward and back. OK. Do you know what I mean? So, so you don't I'll need to do reinforce that stitch there or anything? Um, well, I did on the other one. I, I actually if it's did be, it afterwards. I think sometimes so, if yeah, it's going to be heavy I duty... I will. I will. I think I will. These, um... These but teenagers... We'll just do it ne neatly. Yeah, true. They're not, they're not always the... I reinforced it by hand on the other oh, one. Oh, did you? Yeah. You love, you love a bit of hand stitching, don't you, Janice? I Any do excuse? it by hand. That's what am I looking at, you, Tanner? Oh, the bundle that Janice is using, yes. It's lovely, oh, isn't it? Yeah, the fewer than ten now. Beautiful. Fewer than ten if you want them. Uh, Twelve, nineteen, or less than ten of those. WGGC forty-four. Well done for everyone that's managed to get these and checked and out. Yeah, they're it's only yours when you check out. Otherwise, someone could phone in and swoop in and get it out of your basket. It's true. <coughs> I get your chest, Which, girl. Park at my <laughs> chest. The cough. Not the cough. Anything else, yeah. <laughs> I know. Do you know what my mum? My mum would. My mum would probably say, "Have I got a? Have I got a vest on?" <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what, uh, that's what <laughs> mums say, isn't it? <laughs>
you got a vest on? <laughs> and a chest like that. Have you got and got a, a air your clothes. Make sure you air your clothes. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely wearing clothes. <laughs> Our mum still airs the clothes. Before, before and I leave the so house. so funny, she's the most one in the family who's ill. And oh, really? And she takes every precaution going. But she's always a bloody now. My mother. Oh, bless her. <laughs> she's obviously not wearing enough clothes, then, is she? <laughs> she always wears a vest. Pop her in another vest. <laughs> so that's what we've done there. So that's our pockets. Lovely. In the fashion. <laughs> in the yep. fashion. Yeah, yeah. So, again, I'm just going to cut them. Normally, we do to the other side. Again, it's how you want to finish it. So, because finishing is most important. So, there's our pockets on this one. Nice. They're nice, aren't they? Yes. I so made one of these fabric. for all of my fabric pens. Yes. So, they're just, because I, I like them to be in colour order. In colour order. A bit sad like that. Nice, nice colour order. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Oh. I get very upset when Freddie messes up the system. <laughs> can you imagine? At three, he doesn't care. <laughs> he just gets in there, uses them, leaves the lid off. <laughs> All sorts. And everything dries up. Hello. Binding. Hello, binding. Homemade. So, at the actual peachy pinky colour, I actually made the binding. Okay. So, again, just hopefully... I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's vintage make pink. It or buy it okay. or... Whatever you want to do for quickness. So Can I give you a little uh, heads up next hour? What? Satin binding, <gasps> all ready pre made. Ooh. Now you're talking. Just Lo saying. Lovely for Christmas. Just lovely any for time Christmas. of year. Satin is for life, it? not just for Christmas, Jenny. It is. So all you do, mm. you want it to come through okay. on the inside. Right. You actually just pin it. Yep to the side there. Why do I want that to come through on the inside? Oh, so well, I can hang it up? Well, you can do, can't you? Yeah. You can hang it up. Oh, or nice. Okay. Trim it off. Or then again, you could have it into the seam. Mm -hmm. Or I think it's up to you, really, whatever you want to do. So let's do it into the seam, shall we? Okay. Okay. So we're just going to pin it in. Oh, Anne in North Yorkshire says, whoop! <laughs> She said more, but I like the fact she started with whoop. whoop. Um, my sewing advent calendar just arrived. So excited. Ah, oh. Happy days. Happy right. days here at Sewing Quarter. So what we're going to do now is attach this fabric. I love this now, fabric, Janice. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yes. But if you can see what's going on here, we should have put it that way. Well, Instead would of that be way. a fabric choice. But why not... Mm, that's fine. <laughs> so, and then all you're going to do is, this is where we leave the opening, at the bottom. Now, we did, <coughs> in the book, it says leave it at the bottom. Yes. But the bottom is where the pocket is. And You want to leave it at the top, I don't you? I want to leave it at the top. Yeah. You're just going rogue, aren't you? I am going rogue, and I am going to leave care. it at the top, because the Janice, pocket... Janice, she's just doing her own thing. <laughs> Going off piste. She didn't care. I'm going off piste. Um, now, someone who's called themselves <laughs> sewing in Surrey says, yes. when you're holding the cat up in front of you, it looked like it would make a great T-shirt applique. Yes. As well. It would, wouldn't it? Dee dee dee. <laughs> She's off. Oh, let's make sure you keep this binding on the inside as well. Yeah. Keep that on the inside, guys. We've all, we've all oh, got people that absolutely adore their cats, I've haven't we? I've done that the wrong way round. It would help, wouldn't it? I've done that the wrong way round. You just shut away to yourself there, Janice. No, I did that the wrong way round. Oh, did you? That's it's got, got be to on the go inside. on the inside. Yeah. It's like so, bad candles, isn't it? Got to go yeah, on the inside. It's got to go on the inside. Look, that's it. That's got to go on the inside, not the other way round. And that feeds in. Well, I would that's tuck it. that into a pocket so you don't sew over it. True. Because I, I sew over pocket. stuff. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay because you can make seven mistakes a, get a day that's we discovered it. earlier. I've done seven in the, in the two hours I've been on here. <laughs> no one's counting. Girls. It's fine. <laughs> yes, it's absolutely fine. No one's, no one's got a tally. It's all good. <laughs> oh, funny. Oh, well, we do have to have a laugh, especially on a Saturday. We always do, Janice. I really know. love having you on because we have a right old giggle. <laughs> um, I still think this would make a lovely bag, actually, the, the cat head. Yes, I think you're right there. Yeah. 
And this takes... Oh, didn't I say to you when you came on in this morning with this, this takes me back to when I was really little. Uh, when I was four at primary yeah. school, my primary school teacher taught a few of us to make lace. It was a lunchtime club. Oh, right, yeah. So at the age of four, I learned you to learned make lace to... with bobbins and everything. Oh, no, and I had one of these. Yeah. And so I used to put my pears, because your bobbins come in pairs. Yes. Used to wind them. Yeah, see, sorry, producer Hannah, it's that song again, isn't it? Wind the bobbin up. Um, <laughs> it's been in her head all day. She hates me for it. It's fine. <laughs> that earworm. And so I had one of these yes. with all my bobbins in. Still got it. And you still got some yeah. moments. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. 30 <coughs> years later, I've still got it. <laughs> Too long Amazing. Again. Right. That's that. That's that. That's the top. So let's go. So we just literally Which did. is okay. So have you, are you double pinning or something so that you leave your turning outy, outy gappy bit? I'll, I'll start and finish there. Okay. So I always know where to finish. Okay. So, so it's a bit of, Oh dear. Right. Okay, off we go. And fingers crossed it will turn out lovely. Yeah, says our pro. Especially with Excellent. the collar. <laughs> Especially with the collar. <laughs> will you behave yourself, woman? <laughs> you said it. Fingers crossed it turns out right. What could possibly go wrong, Janet? Oh, anything with me. <laughs> no, it's good fun. <coughs> and I'm sewing over the pins now, which I don't like doing. <laughs> oh, Janet. Right, so get to the end. Needle down. Pivot turn. Spin it around. Spin it around. Let's take it to the end of it. I'm doing it. I have to automatically do five eight seams. Well, that's because you're a dressmaker. <laughs> no. It's all good. It works, doesn't it? Yeah. The thing is, nobody knew what pattern you took it from. So you can do it to any size you like. You and can. that's the beauty of these. So I've got one from a pens that I made. Um, I've got one. Well, actually, I made that out of the colour, in, colour me in fabric. So I had my yes. pens to colour in oh, fabric. Nice. In, yeah. yeah. And then uh, one from a bobbins. I might have to do a few more. And now this satin bias binding's coming in, so you're gonna have to do some more now with the satin mm. bias binding. Do I do what, Do I do any knitting? I crochet really badly, but I do crochet. <laughs> knitting, <laughs> no, I just knit. My grandma taught me to knit and I just... I knit as I well. I can knit one pearl one, but that's just yeah. it. That's it. Well, if you can knit and pearl one, you can do anything. Yeah. yeah. Apparently not, if you're me. <laughs> you can. You would think. Well, that would be the me logic. And did. It was always awkward for me. My mum used to have trouble showing me. Even though apparently any handed, you should be able to do it. Doesn't matter, yeah. So. I, um, no, the first thing that I crocheted was a rhino. <laughs> obviously. Aww. For Freddie. Aww. And he loves it, but I should have been a little bit more aware as to how much loving he would get and have sewed his arms on a bit better. So he needs a bit of repair work at the moment. Oh, look Aww. at this. Nice gap. It's a nice gap. It's a nice gap. Yeah. It's not going to be... It should always be about eight centimetres of gaps now, because I don't like the holes. I like to do it as tight as I can. That's well, it's less the hand stitch, isn't it? Although yeah. you love a bit of hand stitching. No, no, it isn't because of the hand stitching. It's what because it? I don't like the... I've always never liked the finish. Oh. I've always liked to have the tight of the hole, so you've got less of a... Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I've always been like that. It's really strange. Go into the pocket. I know. <laughs> No, but I don't. I don't like these because I don't like the hand stitching at the top. I like it to try and have the professional finish. Janet, you've got two minutes and I've lost I've lost the dobber. Oh, that's gone wrong. Where's that dobber gone? I just don't know where it's gone. Is it? Oh, so it it oh it, Janice has got it. I moved it. There you go. So, it's just the stitching's come and done there. Please. You see, you've done double turning through bits. I mean. <laughs> we always put our guests under so much stress, so we get it done, get it done, get it done. Three makes this hour. We've done the cat head, we've done self cover buttons, and now this. So that with this, you see, you just fold it over, put whatever you want in there. There we go, let's pop a little pen in there. Fold it over, wrap it up. So this is out of your mm. green, out of your green <laughs> bundle. And then you can just wrap it, and you can wrap it around as many times as you like. You can have that as long as you want. And there it is, lovely. Maybe if you travel, then that's a great way. Yeah. So there we go, Janice, just in time. All turned through, and then you stitch that up. Stitch that up at the top. Poke your ends out, and off you go. And Isn't that gorgeous? That's it. 
Beautiful. Pockets. Thank Lovely you, Janice. Really nice. I've got to go over there and show no, more fabric. No, you carry on. So I'm going to leave you to, to do that. Yep, Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. It's been lovely to have you on the show. I haven't seen you for ages. I know. Christmas Eve, I'm next time. Are so, you? Mm -hmm. So it's going to be nice. What an absolute Christmas treat. Eve. Yeah. Fabulous. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All uh, right what colour hair will that be? I don't know. Yet. Red. No, uh, Christmas. Christmas red. Then I'll go green. What about gold? <laughs> no, don't go green. <laughs> green. Go like goldy colour. I get gold. Yeah. Now, the blue bundle, Wee which is what we've just been using. Beautiful. Uh, well, you know, I'm a Matilda addict. Uh, more of you have got this in your baskets than we have available. Please check out your baskets. It's now first come, first serve. $12.99. That price isn't right. Too late. It's gone to air. You, you, you're the bo uh, you're, you benefit there. All right, so that one's going to go. What else? What would you like to look at next? Well, let's have a look at the, uh, the red. The red with the um, antique blue. Just, it's this, it's this for me. Look at that, isn't that just stunning? But then you've got kind of a modern one to go with as well. All gorgeous. Single figures of this one as well, 12.49. Please check out your baskets, do not miss out. NEGC 77, fabulous. Now the green that Janice used for, uh, for the, the, um, the paintbrush holder originally, here it is. Again, two tilde fat quarters and your half a meter there. This one is coming in today because you've got your spots on, so it's a different fabric. 1449 LLGC 64. Yay! And then the biggest bundle that we have this hour, which is the one that we used for the cat face and cover buttons. Here it is. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, half a meter, tilde by the half meter, yes. Half a meter of your tilde there a fat quarter and then a half meter of your fuchsia for 15.99, cracking value there. There it is, 15.99, absolutely fantastic. Now, coming up next, we have got House of Alistair uh, doing what he does best, which is a spot of dressmaking. We are going to have some beautiful fabrics on the show. You do not want to go anywhere. If you want a gorgeous fabric to line, I've got that. If you want lace, I've got that. If you want satin binding, I've got that. Don't go anywhere, see you in a minute. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. Make your first purchase with us between the 4th and 5th of November and we'll give you a fabulous festive freebie. New customers who spend over £10 will get one metre of Christmas themed fabric for free. We've got five delightful prints on offer and when you check out, one of them will automatically be added to your order. So treat yourself today. But hurry, this seasonal giveaway lasts 48 hours only or while stocks last. Hi, I'm Tilly Rose and here are my three top tools that I love to use regularly. My first top tool would be a pair of embroidery scissors. Now I love these really little rose gold ones. They're perfect for snipping all the little threads. So I do lots of stitching, uh, slow stitching, free motion embroidery, and they're perfect for getting those tiny, tiny little threads off your work. Here's my next top tool. Um, it's the invisible marker pen. Um, I use this all the time with my stitching, especially with my free motion embroidery. Um, and I'm able to write on the fabric. It's air erasable, so it will disappear within 48 hours maybe. Um, but it gives me the guidelines to actually stitch onto the fabric first. This is my final top tool. It's the Clover Mini Iron. I have one in my little uh, work bag where I take everywhere. Uh, sometimes you don't need a great big iron to do those little seams and I do a lot of traditional patchwork where I just need the seams finishing with the little iron. But it's also good for raw edge applique and other forms of applique because you can get into those tiny little spots. If you're thinking ahead to Christmas parties and festive get-togethers, join us on Monday the 6th of November when Amanda Wyatt creates two fabulous Christmas party garments in beautiful fabrics. First is a flattering pencil skirt in on-trend pleather. Wear it and add a touch of glamour to your Christmas jumper or wear it with a sparkly top and you're ready to party. 
And if you're looking for an outfit that will take you from day to evening, at 10 a.m., Amanda guides you through making a versatile ruched dress in Jersey. Dressed up or down with accessories, it'll become your new go-to garment. Amanda will also reveal how to ensure a professional finish with the correct tools and haberdashery. So join us for a stylish morning on Monday the 6th of November at 8am and 10am. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 4433 and speak to our UK-based call centre to place an order. Or shop online with us at www.sewingquarter.com. Hello, welcome back now. I'm loving today, we've got such a diverse range of products for you. Uh, something a little bit different for you. Brand new sewing machine, brand new range of sewing machines. This is from a company called Eastman. Not a lot of people have heard of this company. Um, I have to say, this is my machine, this is what I use at home. This is your Eastman 500. Uh, it's got 500 stitches, it comes with so many extra goodies. All your stitches listed in there. You've got Cyrillic alphabets. You've got all sorts of goodies in there. It even comes with a cover. Uh, you can see if I just put that forward there. Alistair's going to be using this today. You can see all the feet just nestling nicely there so you don't lose them. You've got that. And then you've also got a little place to store all, all your other goodies that don't fit in in there, like your button foot and all that sort of stuff. So that's all in there. We'll learn about this. We've got so much to get through again this hour. And I know that Alistair hasn't got all his goodies, but I feel like he kind of has. Uh, so that's your machine, just $499.99. If you want a really super affordable machine that has got all the bells and whistles, 500 stitches, everything that you want and expect, it's all here. Just incredible. And the other thing, which is something that's brand new to us, very excited about this, from day one here at Sewing Quarter, we've had one of these in the dressing room. Here it is. Um, and it's a steamer. And I remember using this for the first time going, why have I ironed all my life? Why have I ironed clothes when I could have just used a steamer? Fab. Now this has got, I'll just very quickly show you. If you want to be, it's, you can even do trousers because I thought it was just for tops. But it's not, it turns out you can do your trousers as well. Because look, this little gadget. And there you go, you just put your trousers in between. Helps if you're not doing it at an angle. And iron through. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, so all sorts of gadgets and gizmos. Again, we will look through this uh, in closer detail later. But look, the steamer we don't have a huge amount of, but it is something that we use here every single day. $59.99. Um, you can pop your, your tops over the top of there. But I didn't realize it did the trousers as well. Fabulous, grab that. Um, Alistair's brought all of these. Alistair, what else have you bought for us? Hello, <laughs> it's like Christmas having you here. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> now, new things. Mm -hmm. Oh my <laughs> word. I've got to go for these. I'm sorry, I've got to go for these first. Did we plan to do these next, Bridget Hannah? She says, whatever order, as long as I tell her what's going on. Okay. <laughs> what's going on, Alistair? Look at this. Yes, the jacquard lining. I love a jacket with a lining mm -hmm. that's really rather beautiful. And look, ladies and gents, what we have for you. Oh, yes. Grab that end and tell me what colour this is. I want to say it's the bronze, but I'm not it entirely is, no, sure. It is the bronze. And this is shot with, uh, the bronze is shot with, uh, um, it's not like an, it's, it's a blue hue, because um, you can see that that sort of oh, like two-tone. I just love it. So this is your luxury blonde, uh, bronze paisley. Just it, gorgeous. This will look different in the photographs because the, the camera always does funny things to the colour, yeah. but just look at that. What? Half a metre for 3 99 are you kidding me? Mm. It's super, super... Look, when you go to buy lining in the store, hands down, you'll go in and they'll have habitite or possibly a satin, but they're plain colours and it'll probably be black, grey, cream, white, possibly. Right. To try and find any sort of fancy lining is almost impossible. These are 
absolutely exquisite. So are we selling this by the half metre today? Yeah. So you can have as much of this as you want. Look at that. I mean, we've got, what, a metre here? That's a whole metre. <coughs> How wide is that? So it's 147 wide. Wow. Look at that. I just love this. I would be making dressing gowns out of this. I almost want to find someone that would wear me a cravat. <laughs> <laughs> Next colour, I'll let you fold that because you're better at it than me, um, is your blue. Shot yeah. through with gold. Oh, this is, re this is really, 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 really. So this is Parisian blue. Oh, and this is just wow. beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? What are you going to make out of this, producer Hannah? Kimono is shouting for a kimono. Oh. I know, I know it's lining, but... Now, can I just say as well, look, you can use either side of this. It's personal preference. There is a supposed right or wrong, but it doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't really matter, no. <coughs> look at that. It just depends what effect you want. Um, now, that's, I'm going to run through these colours because they're all utterly gorgeous. They're all the same design, aren't they? They're all the same design. Um, and this is your silver here. Look at that. And all 3 99 per half a metre. This is fabulous. Oh. Now, you see, what I, what I, when I bought this from you, I, my idea is to make my husband a scarf. So I've got some woolen fabric for the outside yeah. and to line it with this. It, it would be lovely. In fact, I've actually um, I've done a few scarves for people and I've lined it in this. Oh. And... It's, it is just amazing how just versatile all these different colours are. This is are. your lilac. Look at the lilac. It's just, oh, this is one of my favourite fabrics of all time. I just, a paisley for me is just absolutely gorgeous. Could you imagine bolsters on your cush, uh, cushion, bolster cushions? What on am I trying to say? <laughs> yes, yes, that's it. You know what I mean. You just interpret what I'm saying okay. and it will be fine. <laughs> Hang on, is, no, mm, what colour oh, is this? this? Is, so this is burnt sienna. Now this, this oh, one, look at that. this is shot with red. Now, orange is one of those colours that I always sort of shied away from and got a bit scared of, but in actual fact, look at that. this is now one of my most favourite colours. It works, be if you've got something, so for instance, if you did a nice little blue wool jacket, yeah. and you put that because it's the contrast colour, yeah. that, when you flip that open is just, Ta -da! yeah. And you know, in the high street when you get, um, cause you've got to appeal to a, a mass, mass, mass market kind Producer of Producer Hannah's got to find the graphics for that. So we'll put that to one side. We will get you the graphics for that, but we, we, I want, we've got so much to get through. Yes. We'll come back to that. <coughs> I can't you. run it over again. Uh, what color is this? This is Heather Pink. Heather Pink, hello Heather. It's, ah, oh, it's beautiful. This is shot through with, um, well, it's, it's kind of a silver, isn't it? And then you've got mm. that gorgeous, gorgeous colour underneath. This is like an antique Victorian sort of um, yes. pinky sort of colour, but very, very regal. And very flattering to wear, uh -huh. actually. And also it goes with a lot of um, people's skin tones as well. The red and pink hues really lend to lots more people rather than just um, a few. Now, you see, we've said lining fabrics. I don't know if you can how well you can see this under the lights. This is it in white. Um, no, no, this is it in ivory. Sorry, mm. I've just seen the white. I'm thinking weddings. Could you mention that? Even if it was just on the tablecloth. Ah, BC. Little f uh, flower girls outfits to have this as the bodice. Oh. And then you would just get some tulle or some netting. Yes. And then you would make some bias strips out of this and then you trim the whole um, thing with, and then perhaps a little cap sleeve and then oh. trim the edges or just a little bolero if only exactly. we knew how to make a bolero oh, well show <laughs> us in a minute we'll get to that uh now this one <coughs> what color am i calling this one now it used to be called years ago beige but then someone renamed it beige. mink oh mink's much yeah. better because it's not beige it's is not it? beige this is really nice now, the, uh, oh, if you wanted a workhorse in terms of aligning, this will go across all of your um, needs. Oh, I've got this one Any as well. Any colour. Don't, no, don't you worry. It's in my stash. <laughs> don't you worry about this. Again, three ninety nine. I'm a sucker for these. Mm. This is uh, mink. You might have it as beige, producer Hannah. 
She'll find it. Well, we'll get that one up as well. What about red, Produce Hannah? We got red? Yeah. Yes, sir. It's all there. there. This, this used to be Mars red, didn't it? Mm. We play around with the names. Yeah. See how we feel. <laughs> oh, just exquisite. This reminds... Oh, this is... This is this yeah. This just reminds me of of anything that's decadent. Mm. This has got it written all over it. Look at that red paisley, beautiful. Right next up is the white. So again, I'm thinking Christmas tablecloths. Yeah. Something like that. Mum and I are thinking about making our Christmas cake, and we always laugh because the only scene that she can do is a white snow scene. She just sort of whips up a bit of icing and slaps it on, and it's the white snow scene. So this will this will go <laughs> treat with Mum's Christmas cake. Uh, beautiful. Poor Mum. <laughs> no, I know it's it's the same. Yet only this year, Freddie has also demanded dinosaurs. So it's going to be a dinosaur snow scene. Apparently, that's okay. You could use those um, chocolate bars. The um, cut them into logs and then dust them with some icing sugar on the top. Have a world with my mum. I will do. Yeah, but you know, Speedo. for 30 odd years, it's just been the white Christmas scene. This <laughs> is black. This is black. Tastes delicious though. She does make a cracking Christmas cake. Mm. Um, look at that. So this is if maybe you don't want something to wah in your face, yep. then this is your subtle Hello, uh, three ninety nine. That again, more technical terms for you. Subtle hello. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to move these down to there, uh, and then the last one to show you. Yes, oh, yes. I haven't seen this one before. Is this new to the to the stable? Uh, yeah, no. This is so. This is our no. No navy is one of those colours that when when it's in vogue, um, it's oh, really difficult that. to get hold of. And navy just as a colour option. Usually you get an overcoat in navy when it comes to autumn, winter. Yeah. But literally to find navy in cotton or in a lining or anything like that, usually that's quite... Everyone will always in fabric stores plump for black, cream and white. But navy's just that sort of... It's that one that they go, should we, shouldn't we? And so sometimes they leave it out and, and it should much, be there. It should. Navy's 3 99 Please check out your baskets for these because they are super beautiful. Ooh, what are these fabrics great for? Lining. Line, great for lining. Um, for instance, if you took the band off an existing skirt and then you made like a cummerbund sort of pleated effect and then added a high waist one around there, that just upcycles a, a, a little pencil skirt you might have had for work. Yes. And then that brings it up. Uh, you can use this, for instance, to change a lining in a, um, a jacket. Um, also, if you wanted to use it as trims, Nice. Trims for skirts, trims for dresses. You could make a little dress out of it as well. Beautiful. Christmas yeah. dresses for little girls. Oh, how gorgeous. In our 50 Fat Quarter Mate book that we had, no, 20 uh, Quick Fat Quarter Mate book that we just saw, they had um, a pillow dress, which you could make out of a pillowcase mm. dress. You could make out of that, put a little jumper on underneath. Christmas dress mm. done for the little ones. Just absolutely exquisite. I'm thinking furnishings. I'm thinking decadent cushions for bedrooms, things like that. Just so many options with this fabric. Truly, truly Draft versatile. Draft excluders. Draft excluders. Yes, yep. what a great idea. Because it's, it's one of those oh, fabrics yeah. that really will, it, it, it pings at you. And it's just in different lights. This under candlelight has a completely dis, di, a different atmosphere yeah. to it. And it really sets things off. Three ninety nine and a half a metre, just gorgeous. Ties, now, pocket squares, both yes, ties. So if you've got weddings and things like that coming, I know we're getting to, but that summer's going to well, come yeah, but it's, very quickly. But it's also winter Christmas mm -hmm. Christmas wedding season as well. Waistcoats, yeah. the backs of. The backs of waistcoats, Because yes, if you don't course. want a really wow lining in something else and you're making a waistcoat, to just have the back of that, really nice. Or even just lining your waistcoat, anything like that. Bag linings, could you imagine your bag lined in that? No. Oh! <laughs> I've made myself cough <coughs> just at the thought of it. <laughs> now, Alistair, mm. you have also brought to air for the first time, dot, 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 ever. Uh -huh. This is the first time that we've brought you lace like this. Now, yeah. this is special lace, isn't it? Look at this. Look at a bit of stretch in it. Yeah, this is corded lace. So what that means is you can see on the surface, it's it's got, um, well, essentially a, a little um, cord that's on the... <coughs> that goes along the top and it's raised. Um, so this one is um, cotton and uh, nylon um, mix, but it's really, it's a nice open um, lace, 
some of the laces can be quite flat, whereas the corded lace just lifts up a bit. It's got it, texture, it's, hasn't it? Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a posher lace, if you like, more sophisticated. Posh lace. What am I <laughs> making with this? Oh, by the half metre too. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Look how wide this is. This is huge. Whoa! That's your curtain done. <laughs> <laughs> well, a bit of sewing as well. Um, but literally, yeah, you get, you get um, it's 150 wide or 147, I think, usable. Right. Um, but um, you can see that you'd make a, a huge amount. For instance, if you're doing a little shift dress, if you were just to put an overlay over a skirt, yeah. then this is what you, this is all that you need. Oh, wow. And again, Christmas party season coming up. Got to be done. That's your grey. Wow, look at this. This is a showstopper red, isn't it? Look at that. Mm -hmm. And again, in your corded lace. So all of these, exactly the same design. Yep. It's just what colour you want to go for. How beautiful. Six ninety nine per half a metre. Let's whiz through these because we've got lots and lots to do today. And then, na again, navy. navy. Thank you for bringing us really navy. lovely navy. Got to be done. This is great for upcycling, but also great for starting from scratch, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So six ninety nine for your blue corded lace. And we're going to show you a technique where we're going to bond it to turn it into a more of a, a, a manageable solid fabric. If you oh. if you didn't quite like that, but we'll give it, yeah. Stay tuned, basically. <laughs> and then you're black. Yep. Hang on. This is now you can add some little um, sparkles onto this. So, so some, hold that. Hold that yeah. Hold that against your top there. There's a reason that you wore green today, so that we could see. There you go. <laughs> Ta-da! I just breathe in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's very flattering. <laughs> Might come in next uh, next time with, uh, you know, a lace cardigan. Well, you know, why not? Exactly. The options are there, Alistair. I'll make sure I wear some underpinning, though. <laughs> just in case. Underpinning. I thought you were going to say, make sure I wear some underwear. I was like, oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> wow. Uh, OK, so that is the... Lots and lots to show you because not stopping there, I promised you, I teased you with this last hour. Alistair, satin binding. Yeah. Hello. This is lovely. Now this is Italian. Okay. So it's not um it's not far east. it's not from the Far East. So this is produced in Italy for us. And this is a really, really lovely weight um satin also. Isn't that beautiful? That's your bias, is it bias binding? Yeah, it is yeah. bias binding. So we call this a center um, fold gap, uh, which just is, literally means that it's been folded right into the center. Right. It just means it's more of a substantial bias. How much do we get? So you can, I think you can buy this in half meters. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So um, per half a meter, 56p mm. per and half a meter. And it's Italian. Yeah. Wow, so let's go through the colours. So this one is your blue satin, such an exquisite finish. We're looking mm -hmm. now at dressmaking for Christmas, those special occasions, or even if you're making a gift like we were doing last um, session, you know, just imagine if you had ivory as the handles for the, for the paint thing. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just break everything. Just break it. Yeah, no, it's fine. Uh, so that's your ivory. Uh, then we've got a lighter blue as well. Love that colour. I'm so glad that you can get this by the half metre. Got that all done for you. So, uh, what a sight! What a time saver. It is, and also I'm just going to show you. A that's quick... your light blue satin, and then your black. Let's run through there. We've got three more to show. Oh, that's a lovely finish, isn't it? And is that gonna, that's gonna work with the let, oh yeah. But what you'll notice as well, for instance, a lot of um, cheaper imports, you'll get um, on, on the actual satin itself, you'll get the indentation of where the seam is underneath and also you might get a slight scorch mark on the sides. This one, you don't have any of that. Good quality. Yeah, and it doesn't fit, when you run your fingers across it, it does not feel grainy. Right. Sometimes you get the satin sheen and you rub it over and it's a little bit rough. No, this is this smooth isn't, as. And it's got a lovely fluidity to it. Uh, no, it is absolutely exquisite. Look at this one. This is absolutely beautiful. So this is your lilac. Again, you know, these are gonna work with your jacquards, with your lace, with all sorts of goodies. And again, you, you put this in your basket like you do your fabric by the half metre. So if you want a metre, you would put two in the quantity. If you want five metres, then you'd put ten. Got you. Yes. And then red. Last one to show is the red. 
Karen says, just love the fabric. Been waiting to see something like this great show. I've been, honestly, how long have we been trying to get you on the show now? Almost since we started. Exactly. Well, I had to give in when you were camping outside my house. Well, you know. You know. Needs must. <laughs> Uh, it will come as one continuous length. You make me sound like a scary stalker. Uh, it's done in the nicest possible way. Uh, 56 feet. You gave the toilet breaks. <laughs> <laughs> that half a metre. <laughs> Fabulous. Right, what are right. we doing? Okay, so just uh, just as we've finished on there, it's a, a good thing. So there are a lot of attachments. So this is a binding <coughs> foot for a sewing machine. So just a quick tip on that. What you want to do is you want to cut your bias because you see some people threading this in and it looks or you're going god that's you're doing this a really complicated but way. if you have a bias foot on your machine this is a great way to do it yes yeah, so i didn't you, know this existed so this is so you just literally fold that in and because it's got the arrow point it makes it much easier to thread it through okay because if i had it with the blunt nose and i was trying to go and push it through there it sort of gets stuck and then okay. you're having to sort of like wiggle it out so two points here if you've got one of these feet great if you haven't we'll have to get that on the next time that you're here yep. because i know that so many of you are going to be going a oh, what with that that's <laughs> a thing that exists yeah. amazing so we'll sort that out for next time what are we doing now this hour right what are, you, so, what are you making for us right so because i'm a pattern cutter i'm going to show everyone how to take a basic um t-shirt Right. So this is um, so this is an old one um, that I've had in the cupboard. And I'm going to show you how to make a pattern to make a bolero jacket. Can I just show you behind? This is what we're making this hour. Let's let's wheel her foot. She's on wheels. She's on wheels. Come on, love. <laughs> um, look at that. Christmas parties. And also, for instance, if you've got that little shift dress that is your go-to little dress, yes. but you just want to... Just a little bit of something else. You can make these in, once you've got the pattern, you can make these in lots of different colours. Yes. And for instance, you can make a little accessory, for instance, for you to drape on your handbag, like a little off cut of like a little scarf or oh, something. Lovely. And it just ties your outfit into, into one. Now, the lace that we've brought you today are perfect for those Christmas party dresses, those Christmas borrows. We're going to give, put the black on the screen, but all of these now are on the website underneath where you can watch us live. They are all there ready for you to buy, available by the half metre. How much do I need for one of these? If, uh, you could, depending on your size and how frugal you are about cutting out the sleeves, you will need a half metre, but to be safe, I would get the full metre. Fab. You think how much these cost in the shops? Well, exactly. But once you've got your pattern and you lay it out, if you just tweak it a little bit, as long as you're a bit economical, then it should be fine. Fabulous. Yeah. What do I do? So get an old T-shirt. Right, so you get an old T-shirt now. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use all the manufacturer's seams because they're already here and yes. that's what we need. So I'm just going to get a, a, mar a, marker, pen. <laughs> a marker pen. So I'm going to uh, mark the shoulder seam. You can be a little bit rough with this. It doesn't really matter. Also, I'm going to... Let's face to... it, you're not going to wear it again, are you? No. And this will be an old one. So we're just going to do that. Now, what we're going to do is we're also going to come around the armhole. So make sure you've got a T-shirt that actually fit you well. Ah, now this no. is, that's a good point. This has to be a loose-fitting T-shirt. Okay. Because we're not going to add seam allowance. Oh, right. So we're going to cut it net. So this has to be one that's oversized. The, the jacket will not work. If you've got a bodycon T-shirt and you start doing it, it will be... Because that's got natural stretch in right. it. Right, We yes. want it as a draping piece, okay. not a tight-fitting okay. piece. OK, OK. So we're just going to mark okay. down here. Yep. And we're also going to continue this line all the way all the way down, about halfway, because we're not, we're not going to use that other part. OK. So those are the important ones. Now, a technical phrase... We're going to use, so everyone sh um, hopefully will know what a centre front is. So centre front is the line that runs from here all the way down to your okay. belly button. Yes. Down. A centre back is the same but on the back. Okay. Okay. So Logical. I'll go with that. You just need to fold the T-shirt into, and then the most important bit is you just need to make sure that you're matching up those necklines and shoulder seams. This is where you start to realise how well your cheap T-shirts have been made, isn't it? You go, oh, does that mm, actually all actually line fit. up? <laughs> so, yeah, no, exactly. So we're just... So we now are going to just... just oh, so that a, gives you your centre front. So this is your centre front. Ah. So we're just going to do that, and then we're just going to quickly... Now, a quick tip on that. 
either with your iron or just your hands, just crease that like that. Yep. Delicately do that. And then before it oh, you've sets... Oh, got, you've got the back line. Before it sets, just quickly do that. Okay. Now we're going to do the same what we did on the other side. So mm -hmm. marking there, all the way around. And you learnt this where? So this is part of my fashion training. So when I was um, a student at St Martin's, we had um, three days to learn machine skills on industrial machines. And then we were also given, what was it, two days pattern cutting and then in the first year. And then it was like, okay, <coughs> sink or swim. <laughs> So, yeah, we've given you the basics. No, do Now it. elaborate. Yeah. So another thing, so in a T-shirt pattern, it doesn't really matter. But for instance, as a rule of thumb, we do, we can either call these placement lines, but we do two little marks. And that two marks always represent the back. The back, yes. One mark represents the, the front. front. So this, oh, it would help if I did it on the, on the right side. That'll help when we cut that off. Well, you know, yeah. So we do that, so we put our two marks for the back, mm -hmm. and then we put our one mark for the front. Okay. Now, another um, important line is when you come off the shoulder seam, now, you put a, a placement mark there. Because there's no seam there, yeah. we know that we have to match that up later okay. on. Okay, okay. Right, so... It's kind of demystifying actual patterns that you get in a pattern, if yeah. you see what I mean. Like, now, why these things need to be placed where they need. Exactly. So... Wherever you come to an actual line, so I'm going to imagine that I'm wearing a nice uh, bra and obviously I've got that on and... Sorry, not professional. <laughs> okay, please, I, I don't have to just imagine you wearing it. a bra. Okay, okay maybe on. later. But then, <laughs> so we have that there. So just to avoid, so for instance, if you have the like a VPL that yeah. on the bra, I don't know what you would call that, but... There, you... Yeah, VPL's visible panty line, isn't yes. it? A, a VBL, yeah, a VBL, visible bra line. Yes. yes, so you want to make sure that that comes a little bit down before. Down before. Um, um, it... Further down. So it hides that yes. area. So I'm going to do around about five to six inches down. So I'm just going to mark here. So th actually this is about making what's comfortable for you because my... Yeah. my um, Bolero, bolero, whatever you want to call it, it stops to, you're quite right, I hadn't even thought of it, it stops yeah. too high up. So actually I often get a gap and so I don't ever end up wearing it because it's it's too high. But mm -hmm. if you're making it for your own little black dress or whatever it is that you're wearing, perfect. And also some of those little knitted ones that you can buy in the stores, you're quite right, they come high. So if you've got a strapless dress on that mm. comes across, usually it rides a up gap. a bit and you see that, and yeah. that, I think that looks a bit odd. So you can use a ruler, but as one of my um, design teachers at high school taught me, your, your natural curve is your wrist. Okay. So we don't need anything special. So we're going to, it's a bit like a waistcoat. So I'm going to do lots and lots and lots of lines. So I'm okay. going to start from here because it's coming <coughs> around the neckline. Mm. And I'm just going to hit that point there. Yep. And then I'm wanting to bring it. <coughs> Excuse me. Around to hit that line here. Okay. You count that to a little bit um, severe. Now, once you've done that, you can see that I've made a wrong line, so I squiggle yeah. that out. But just so you know which line you're cutting out, we do a little chevron mark on okay. patterns, and yeah. that helps us out there. So now we need to turn over to um, the reverse. Yeah. And we now need to mark here. So where you finished where at the front. Where it's finished. Now, I'm going to guesstimate, but obviously you guys will take a straight ruler. Now, as a ruler thumb of pattern cutting, this line here yeah. has to be at a 45 degree angle. And the reason for that, it, it makes a continuous line. Right. So if I was to do that at an angle, <coughs> you would get this sort of little kind of... So if I cut that out, that would make this little pivot area. So 90 degree angle. That's 90 degrees. Yes. 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 So your ninety degree angle. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Your Just bias binding is only forty five. Clear. Yeah. In your head. So don't do the forty five. That's do a 45. your forty five. Yeah, don't do that. Do it at ninety. Perpendicular. That's Let's why everyone was looking at me puzzled at one of the shows I did. <laughs> Okay, so sorry, 90 degree angle. Yeah. Thank God we've got a maths person. Here. Well, you know, there's odd, odd bits that I remember. Yeah. <laughs> the important ones. Yeah. Like getting good. the nose of your angles right. Yeah. Right, so we need to make a continuous line from here. So that's where we've stopped here. Now I'm going to drop that a little bit. 
because I want the jacket to just curve around oh, and just yeah, come yes, down a little down, bit more. Now you don't have to. Yeah. So I'm now going to use my uh, natural curve to come all the way to here. Beautiful. Now. Okay, if you're not happy using your natural curve of your arm, mm -hmm. can you just get a tailor's curve? Yep. Okay, there you Absolutely go. perfectly Because I know there's going to be people at home going, oh, I can't do that. Because we all believe we can't do things. Um, so give it a go. Mm -hmm. You know, you might sacrifice a t-shirt to shot horror. Um, but otherwise, get yourself a tailor's curve. Exactly. And yeah, it it's really, on the website. It's fine. It really doesn't matter. You just have to have a go. So you can see how I've done this. Now, before I'm cutting anything out, Mm. So, well, actually, so I'm going to actually cut my centre back down and off. So we're making what's called a half pattern. Right. Now, a half pattern, because it's symmetrical on both sides, it's like a commercial pattern. So what you would buy in the shops. Right. So what happens on the left happens on the right. Okay. And I'm also going to cut down the centre front line just to get that um, off. Can we just get rid of that? You just get rid of that one. Right, so the whole reason you can see that this line here, because it's not, um, it sort of comes up on itself ever so slightly, yes. so that won't make a nice line. Okay. So before you cut something out, you just need to now fill that in so that it's ah, a really beautiful, beautiful curve. Just, yes. So it just glides like that around the body. Oh, and this, it, is, this is really easy, Alistair. I thought it was going to be... When you said, yeah, I'm just making something out <laughs> of an old T-shirt and it's going to be beautiful, I was like, how on earth is this going to work? Um, I see. This is fabulous. It is. It's okay. really, really simple. So you see uh, I've crossed that one out, mm -hmm. but I've also put my chevron mark there mm -hmm. so that, for instance, if... The little ones start to ask you a question and you're just about to cut and then you realise you've cut the wrong end off or, or the phone goes, what have you, or you're just not paying attention, like you've got your stereo on or what have Any you. Any or all of the above can, can, uh, can uh, and do happen to me. Exactly, and me too. Yeah. So what we're now going to do, this is now essentially our pattern. So right. what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out... Now this is a jersey fabric, so it's rolling a little bit. It is. Although, what, what do we do about that? Right, so all you need to do is you um, you just need to, once you place it down, you just need to flatten it. Okay. And it will start behaving. It, w it will. It will. It will. What no you, question about it. What you can do is you can put a bit of masking tape on the other side. And oh, that, okay. That, that can help stabilise yeah. it a little bit. Or, for instance, if you've, if you've just gotten a loose top, what you can do... With this, if you draft it onto paper first, right, then lich, then you can do that. So, as you can see now, if I was going to be really frugal with my lace and make the most of it, I would add a seam down this um, mm -hmm. this side seam. I'm not going to. I'm going to cut it in a more expensive way to give us that oh. more. Um, luxurious uh, look. So I'm going to cut the body piece all in one. Really? Yeah. But that's a really expensive cut in terms of okay. how you would do it. Actually, I'm all for that. So I'm going to open the shoulder seam. And again, you do not have to be so, so careful. And then I'm going to cut out the sleeve. Just be careful you're not actually cutting out another layer. And, you can and this see is where you go through those double, double marks yep. to show front and back. So you see that. Now, this has got to be one of those shows that you um, put a highlighter on and you watch back when your lace arrives to make this. I've never seen a pattern um, dissembled like this. It, it, it suddenly makes patterns so much more achievable. Look at that. So, for instance, with, um, say, for instance, we've got an actor that needs a particular thing. Yes. The quickest way, rather than drafting a block out from scratch or yeah. taking a set of measurements, yeah. sometimes banging on a t-shirt, whipping it off the person and then literally cutting it up. As long as you know what you're doing in terms then of, good. then you know yeah. it's fine. What's going on your screen graphic wise at the moment are all of the different corded lace for you to make this bolero. If you're after the gorgeous jacquard fabrics, Check on the website underneath where you can watch us live. Scroll through and take your pick of colours there. There's a whole array and absolutely gorgeous. Could you make this jacket out of your jacquard? Yes. 
Absolutely, 100%. Oh, Christmas. Done. Um, producer Hannah says that she wants to see the Parisian blue one. Is it just you, producer Hannah, or is it somebody else who wants to see it? Oh, no, somebody requested. I know that you said I think that's my favourite one. Um, <laughs> so, you see, look at, imagine that. Mm. It is lovely. Mm. Evening bag, done. But it, bolero, shades long. In fact, you know those little purses that are in a, a style of an envelope? Yes. Make one of Beautiful. those. Beautiful. Um, what am I also thinking? Scarves. Mm. Infinity scarf. Um, producer Hannah says I look like Dame Judi Dench. About the only time I'll ever be mistaken for Jane Judy Dench because she's absolutely tiddly tiny. She is. She, oh, over about the over the shoulder thing. That's the only way in which I resemble Dame Judy Dench. Oh. Yeah, by wearing beautiful fabrics. Just you know, she's a very lovely lady. Worked with her at the Royal Shakespeare Company. She's lovely. Mm -hmm. She's always up for mischief. You've got she to watch her. Yeah, she looks. She's a cheeky one. <laughs> Whenever there was a practical joke, it was Dame Judy Dench behind it. Always. Always. Lovely lady. Right. Right, so essentially you can see that we have got our pattern. This is brilliant. Yes. So you can see how... So this is our centre back. Yes. No, we're going to cut the lace on the double. Okay. So we're going Not to... Not as in like quick, quick on the double. No. Folded. Folded. So okay. we're going to fold it and then we're going to lay this on the fold line, pin it, and then we're going to cut our whole piece out. You can see how I get my son out the door, can't you? <laughs> chop, chop, on the double. Well, I always say quick sticks, and it's not a family phrase of mine. I've adopted it from uh, my other half's family. So you've, got the, so you've got your pattern pieces, so they can go, now, if, you'll go, if you trace that using a tracing wheel, yes. or just a pencil, yes. mask and tape onto the paper, yes. trace it off, and then make a paper copy, and then you've got your go-to pattern. That fits you. Perfectly. Perfectly. This is brilliant. And then if you want a longer one for a different dress or whatever, perfect. Because I can't, firstly, especially if you're trying to find something for a wedding out of, out of sort of season, mm -hmm. you can now do it. You can absolutely do it. What about Ladies' Day at the races? What about it, hey? Exactly. There's, there are absolutely... Special birthdays or even just how many of you ladies at home, come on, be honest about this, just don't like the tops of your arms. Yes. And producer Hannah, she said, I do actually hate the tops of my arms. It's a bit harsh, Hannah. Your arms are great. But, um, <laughs> no, they're not. But, we, you know, everybody <laughs> has their little, their little things, don't they? And so this, sort of done. Sorted. This does sort these um, um, problems out. And also, um, you In know... In a really flattering, beautiful way. Brenda says, thank you, Alistair. Great explanation. Learning so much. Pattern cutting, I could try now, says Brenda in Sussex. Brenda, thank Ooh. you. If you've been anything like me, you'd never have done it before. Far too scary. But this is making it very, very easy. Now, so this is now the lace folded in half. Folded in half. Now, I'm going to be very wasteful. So what you're seeing me do, I don't want um, you doing this at home um, because obviously um, we're time constrained but for instance when you um so you'll see the lace here you can see all the um the roses does the corded go on the inside or the outside it doesn't matter if, well you would want the corded to be on the outer um side so it's an extra texture and detail on the outside yes okay. so you want the raised part to be on yeah. the outside and okay. um, so you can see that um we've got the, lots of um green through the board here yeah. so now when we lay this across <coughs> It's a bit of a slight kind of a guessing game as well. So you want to lay... The lace is like a, um, a pattern. So you want to lay the lace... The lace over the top. Because when... The most important thing is the front. In anything, the front. If you're using check wool or anything like that, the checks need to match. That's the really important thing. Again, with this, if you've got a flower that ends up there and you've got a flower that's slightly up there, when you look across someone's... Yeah. Um, top area, then, or chest area, then you will see ski with roses, and there's uh -oh. nothing worse than uh -oh. ski with roses. There's ski with rose over the breast. I mean, it's exactly. just not 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 a good look. So you can see one way when I place um, the lace over, you can see it goes really grey. But then when I actually start to match up the flowers, 
you can start to see that the green you start comes the green back come through. through. Oh. So just use it on the underside of um, on a table that is a different colour to your lace, and you'll just see that. So I'm going to. <laughs> so I'm about there. You've just got to make sure that it's 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 kind of. It's there. happening. I can yeah, I can see that happening now. Right. So we then take our pattern. Now that's your fold line there, isn't yeah. it? So you can see I've just teased that there just to get um, that jersey, as you mentioned before, from rolling. But you would have this as um, as a paper. You'd have done this as a, a paper, a paper pattern now. Yeah. Oh, we've had an email. Oh yes. From E Goose. I don't know if that's a name. A -goose. Amazing show. Oh. Thank you so much. I hope he's back soon. Well, so do we. In fact, you're going to come up, aren't you? Sit down with um, with our buyer, Ian, and go through and put at least six months in the diary with us. Yes. I've said it now, so it's got to happen. <laughs> That's really naughty. <laughs> I know. But having camped on your doorstep to make sure that you came on the shows, uh, it's only right that... Um, <laughs> other, I've, I've got to use other methods to make sure that you come back, and soon. Oh, don't worry. I was always going to come back. Yeah. So I'm just going to um, I'm just going to pin um, here. Now you can be as as many pins or as adventurous as you want. Okay. Um, but the main thing is is when we cut this out, I'm going to cut everything really quickly. But that's just because we don't have it, and also don't scream at me because I know that everyone is going to all that fabric. But I'm just going to come in here. So I'm going to start. I'm looking at that lace, thinking um, I can use up my old scraps of fabric. And overlay, so I could do beautiful Christmas decorations and overlay with the with the lace. Yeah. There is. So there is there with the red lace, the grey lace, anything. It's just it, it's just beautiful. So corded lace coming across the bottom. The red six ninety nine there for all your Christmas decorations or. Um, Sorry, my voice is doing very funny things today. Um, <laughs> Producer Hannah says you sound like you're going to uh, to cry. Um, <laughs> it's very emotional. It's very emotional having Alistair here. Um, <laughs> Diana says, Alistair is brilliant. More, please. Uh, that's very kind of you. Thank you very much. I will definitely be back. And also, this we'll, we'll come back and we'll revisit this because there's other techniques we can show you how to flare out, Ooh. take in, add, say, for instance, a concealed... So if we were doing this in a solid fabric, we can do a concealed box pleat in the back to give it that little um, sort of... Oh, nice. Um, edge. Um, I'm also thinking, right, ladies, when you've made for grandchildren or things like that, party dresses, I, I don't know about you with your son, but my son, now that he's at nursery, the party invitations yep. are starting to come in. Yep. He has a better social life than I do. It's depressing. Um, and, and so certainly for little girls, they want a party dress, which adds up and becomes expensive. It does. But actually, a little um, bolero, bolero, whatever you want to call it, for a little one is not going to be expensive. It's, it's not. Six ninety nine, dollars and you're done for a bolero for a little one. Exactly. I mean, for instance, a whole, half, even a, a half a metre piece, you'll get, it. if you've got two granddaughters, you'll get two, Aww. if not more, actually, out of that. My mum will be shouting, we need twin granddaughters. <laughs> she won't be. <laughs> Yeah, but boys, boys are a different uh, sort of kettle of fish. Really. Freddie would love this. I mean, to be fair, he'd he'd be running around the house saying that he looked really pretty and probably raiding my makeup. That's his latest trick. Well, mine already has. He's he's used that as camouflage. <laughs> so, Brilliant. So yeah. Yeah. Don't mind I the mean, chiffon the prettiest, gown the that prettiest, we're working on. The uh, camouflage ever. Exactly. Oh, another. This is just a customer. They haven't said their name. Hi, great show. Did you add a seam allowance? No. Because. because We've used a loose-fitting T-shirt that is already slightly is, is bigger on us than we would do because when you see this, this is it's not a it's not a fitted, it's not it's not close to the body. It's not fitted like this. It's away from the body. Yeah. So th we don't need to add seam allowance um, to this. You, if you're a bit worried about it, then add your seam allowance to your pattern. So when I just cut there. If you're um, okay with doing so, then just guesstimate. Okay. Because no one's really going to... But otherwise, just add it when you do when you make your own paper pattern. Yeah. So once you've done your paper pattern, then whiz round and then add your seam allowance on but it if you wish. But that was why, um, customer who didn't give their name, uh, 
it's important to use a, a bigger T-shirt. Don't go for a skinny fit one else. Yeah. You'll be giving it to your granddaughter anyway. Exactly. Now, um, we've only got about 10 minutes less. D in Bristol says, good morning. More Alistair shows, please. Learning a lot about patterns. Thank you, says D. Thank you, D. <laughs> right, so we'll just quickly... Um, so you can see now that we've actually got our full lace um, pattern. Sorry, um, jacket pattern. Done. So it is, so literally, you can see how easy that was to actually complete. Okay. And that was absolutely fine. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show very quickly um, that we're going to do a French seam and how to start it off. Okay. Because we've got that special technique I mentioned about the bonding. Yes. Which is really cool. And yes. I don't want people to miss out on that. Okay. So literally, this is going to f sound a bit bizarre, but we want to put wrong sides together. So you'll see the corded so is going to go on the inside. Yeah. Okay. Now with this, you have to treat it. So only ever cut this the day that you're going to sew it. Do not cut it the week before or hang it up or place it because you it will. Okay. You can use a spray a, um, a spray glue to a temporary adhesive. So a temporary adhesive glue. Yeah. We've got that on the website. Yeah. yeah. So if you spray that on, so if you mount the before you cut, mount your lace onto that first. It will give you more control when you're sewing, especially if you're going to add some bias binding around, like we've done on the example behind us. Then that just gives you that extra bit of stability. Okay. Once you've sewn through the paper the stitches act like a perforation and once you've teased it off you can pull the paper off oh, and it perfect. won't stick in. So just use a very lightweight paper. Very lightweight. Alistair, I've got a couple of things to say. Teresa in Northumberland says, WOW! In capitals, like shout, shout, capitals. WOW! Alistair, this is my kind of dressmaking. Yes, more please, uh, says Teresa. And also lots of you asking, how on earth do I watch this again? Because obviously you're going to have to wait for your lace to arrive. Mm -hmm. uh, this is how you do it. You make a note of today's date, the 4th of November. You go on to the quarter, 4th of November, and it will come up. And then you can forward and reverse and forward and re forward and rewind. Fast forward, rewind, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> to the bits that you need, um, to the juicy bits, the as juicy we like bits. to call it, the juicy bits. Um, and then you can just watch this demo. I've tried to be as quiet as I can to let you listen to Alistair. It's difficult for me, uh, <laughs> but I've tried. So what are we doing now? Right, so I'm going to use this technique quite a bit. Now, um, a lot of people like pins. I like to baste, especially when we're doing something as, um, as fiddly as a French seam. Okay. okay. So I've just done this. Now, the reason why I baste, pins, like I did with a paper piece this morning, it, it creates a concurve, so it, it makes it a bit yeah. far more difficult. Yeah. This way round, you get more control. And with a stitch going through it, it's just a loose stitch because we're going to pull it out. This just keeps <coughs> everything where it needs to be. Whereas pins, the machine will allow it to slip. So we're just going to sew not very far um, from the edge. So I'm just going to sew a little bit um, forward. I'll just... So is this just a straight stitch? Yep, this is just a straight stitch and we're just doing it just to catch the two edges right. together. Now, normally I would just let my machine pull all this through, but with at this point, what do we have to do? Do we have to help feed it through? Sometimes, because the cord, corded lace is a little bit um, elastic, yeah. you may have to just help it ever so slightly, okay. but do not do not pull it. That okay. is my big tip. Do not pull it okay. because you'll just end up with a great big mangled mess. Now, a lot of you as well asking about the machine. The machine today, £499.99. It is a brand new machine for us. <laughs> up until now, we've only ever brought you Elna. This is your Eastman 500. This is a machine that I use at home. And this gives you 500 stitches. It's a fully computerised machine. Um, it's got... Oh, uh, just, there you go. Uh, it's got your Cyrillic alphabet. It's got lots of mm -hmm. different modes. You can build your own stitches on it. Uh, you can do all sorts of goodies. It's a real fab, fab, fab piece of kit. Um, and at a really affordable price, you know, if, you, if you're after a machine with all whistles and bells and this is your kind of budget, then please do go for this machine. Maybe you've got some of your credit back, which then brings the price down in your account from our last promotion. Maybe you've got that, but for 499 99 and it's Alistair that brings us to where? 
Peter. That's the only reason that we've got this today, um, because Alistair is bringing these to us. So, Alistair, well, we're going through with the lace over here. Yeah, I've just heard it. It's just caught underneath, hasn't it? Yeah, I was just listening to it. So we'll um, get. So when that happens, because this yeah. is a this is something that happens with your lace. It's just it you know it pulls it underneath. It's like when you um, uh, when you're patchworking and the ends dive down. Yeah. Is there an easy way to get it back out? Yeah. So you're teasing it. You already. tease it, and the thing is, is you just wiggle it. It will eventually come out. Um, so you says. don't have to rip it out like I would. No. I wouldn't do that. Sometimes um, it's easier just to um, allow it to um, pop out itself. Ooh. The concentration here. Um. Oh, drop the feed dogs. But it will eventually come out. Okay. Whilst you do that, let me show you. What do you want me to show you? Should Oh, the garment seamer. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my goodness. I've completely forgotten that we had this as well. This is our garment steamer. Um, these are going like hotcakes. We don't have too many of them here. Uh, we have used these every day since we started because I brought one in with me. I uh, absolutely love this. No, and I, actually, I didn't... Had I actually bothered to read the instructions, I just saw the hanger and thought, well, you just put your, your top over there and just steam it. Top tip, steam from the bottom up wise, uh, upwards, steam rises, start from the bottom, and then by the time you get to the top, it's already done. Uh, but look, with this, it also has... This is, this is for your trouser attachments, you see. So you can just hold that, pop your trousers in there, and then you just steam. And it's absolutely brilliant. We go from the from the bottom down, uh, upwards rather. And it's also got this attachment here. So if you've got some, if you're doing your curtains or anything like that, because you know you can do it, steam all these sorts of things, or if you've got a crease that's really tricky, then you can brush it, brush it as you steam it. It's absolutely fab. Fifty nine ninety nine. I will be honest. I do not iron my clothes for air anymore. I use this. I absolutely love it. So my ironing is purely for my sewing and purely for my bed bedding. And that's it. That's all I use my own for. Anything else gets done on my steamer. Absolutely brilliant. Wish I'd known about this years and years and years ago. For $59.99, you'd pay that for an iron, wouldn't you? But here it is. Absolutely fab. Love it. It's got different settings as well down the bottom, depending on what it is that you're actually wanting to steam. These were a pair of trousers that we made in August, back in August. Paul Clark made these. Um, and you just attach them to the bottom. So you hold them out, attach them, and then you give them a good old go. Um, or whether you're dressmaking or not, you know, it's absolutely fab. Just take those off when they're done. Job done. And then when you, when you want to put your next item of clothing in there, that collapses down, you put your item of clothing over the top, then just lift that up, and then it's all held out ready to steam. It's brilliant. Um, it also collapses down as well, because all of these, is this is on a telescopic tube. So you just bring those down all the way. And you can then actually take the whole thing out, should you wish. So that whole thing unscrews, that can unscrew. So you can just then store it, pop it in the cupboard, do whatever you want with it. All of this comes off. So then you've just got the size of the base. It's smaller than a vacuum cleaner. You know, that's the thing. It's smaller than a vacuum cleaner. But to be honest, ours, ours is just out in the dressing room. It's out all the time. And it's just there with water and ready to go, which is fab, absolutely brilliant. Uh, now, I've, I've heard the sewing machine are whirring, which means that Alice has managed to sew something. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, that's all right. I can say <laughs> that. You're my friend. <laughs> yeah. It happens, doesn't it? But, the, but the, I'm really pleased that happened. And I say this because I'm really pleased, not because it's your first show, but because, <laughs> and that's out of the way now. Uh, Janice says you're allowed seven mistakes a day. Okay. Um, but because that would happen to me at home. And yes. I would then panic, probably rip it out and have to start again. No, 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 never ever rip anything out. Also, it, j just doing that wiggling thing, because two things, you might end up breaking your machine. Yes. And second of all, you will just waste a whole load of um, Yes, fabric, so don't do that. Just wiggle, no. drop your feed dogs and wiggle. Yeah, take your time. It really isn't... Um, 
you really, really um, don't need to do anything else. So you can see that I have literally, so that with the right sides um, facing, you can see that I've um, just stitched on the edge. Yes. So now for a French seam, now you can trim this down ever so slightly. I would be ever so cautious about trimming too much of yeah. that seam away because lace is a very open fabric. Yeah, you're never going to be quite sure, are you, where, it's, where no. it joins. So just wiggle <coughs> that off. And the next stage, all I'm going to do is you just fold that. And what I'll do is I'll just explain, because I know we want to get on to the, um, the fusing part. We're um, almost out of time. We've only got four minutes left. Okay, right. So literally, you use your finger and thumb and you can see where the seam will will end up coming yeah and literally once you do that then um you stitch again here so so on the wrong side so you will encompass that yeah. raw edge seam inside, inside and then when that. you turn it through onto the right side you'll get this beautiful um almost like that you get that beautiful seam and we do have yeah so you can see on here that's been French seams. So you can see the French seams here. So you yeah. can see the top bit that we've stitched and then yeah. you can see the other line underneath. And that's encasing all those raw edges yeah. and look how beautiful that is. So this, this would have been how, before overlocking and anything like that or binding or anything, this is how they would have done it as a finish. Fab. And that's how you would create that. And of course, we've got the satin binding to buy. Um, Bias binding to buy, buy the half metre to get as much of that as you need. How much are we going to need bias binding wise for this? Bias binding, uh, depending on your um, size, you need it for the um, cuffs, um, cuffs. Yeah, the cuffs. Yeah, cuffs. Um, so you'd need it for that. So I would say you'd need around about three metres should okay. do it. Okay, all right. Always get a bit extra. Yeah. That's only going to cost you just over three pounds. I mean, that's just fabulous. Uh, right, we've only got three minutes left, less than three minutes. What right. have you got here? Okay, so I have also, we have this amazing stuff, this Bonder um, repair and bond um, fabric. Right, two minutes, Alistair. Okay, so if you get the iron. Oh, right, yep, 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 yep. I've got to read the menu as well, so oh, for tomorrow. Oh, oh okay. gosh. Okay. I need at least, okay, so we've got to iron it on here because otherwise it yep. wrecks the mat. Okay. So I'm just going to place this here. I am going to... What's the, hang on, what's this? What do we need so this, this for? So this is a, um, you can buy a silicone... Oh, um, so this is like the Teflon ironing sheets. Yep, so okay. corded lace face down. Yeah. We want to place some of our fusing on there. Yeah. And then we're just going to stick a section of our lining. And what, what heat do I do this on? Uh, you just do it on a normal cotton. Okay. And then literally, we're just going to place that on. How long for? Um, we just need to keep the central heat on it for around about um, 30 seconds. Okay. So I'll Whilst you do that, I'm just going to move that off there because it yep. heats up on my I'll okay. let you do that and I'll tell you what's coming up tomorrow and we'll come back to this. Oh my goodness, so much to fit in. Fabulous fabrics tomorrow. It's our Liberty Labyrinth quilt at 9am. We've got fabrics and gadgets. And then 10am, we've got a festive tree block. And then at 11am, more fabrics and gadgets. How are we doing over here? It should be close. But I think we'll oh! oh. um, We've got yeah. 35 seconds left. Okay. Alistair, thank you so much. If I thank you now, it's been an absolute joy having you here. So interesting. Look at that. So use your Teflon ironing sheet that we've got on the website. So you can bond, so you're bonding those two fabrics, so you're creating a solid fabric. And here's one we did earlier. Fab. And then, so you use the right side and you like, so that would make your lining your jacket like that. And yep. then literally you've got that. And then I've just trimmed it with some of our lovely wow. bias binding. So you're creating your own fabric. We are out of time. Sorry. Thank you <laughs> so, so much. Uh, thank you at home for watching. I will see you next week. John's in tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. <laughs> Tune in on Sunday, the 5th of November, when we've got some fabulous shows lined up for you. Jane Alcock will be joining us at 8am and 10am to share her expertise in quilt making. She'll be passing on plenty of tips and techniques along the way as she creates one of her stunning designs. Then at 9am and 11am, the lovely Irene Colesby will demonstrate how to use the Infilla Automatic Needle Threader. It's such a handy little gadget that solves the frustration of threading needles. 
We'll also introduce some of the new Lewis and Irene fabrics. So make sure you don't miss these action-packed shows on Sunday the 5th of November from 8am to 12pm only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78.